Hey, what's going on, guys? So we are in the building. Shout out to what it's like. So we um 40 minute late start here. Um we're gonna get better um as we proceed. Um, we got a lot of life to happen. I gotta stick to the schedule, guys. I'm killing myself. I gotta stick to the schedule because you gotta understand. I know y'all might not think of YouTube as a job, but YouTube it becomes a job when you do it the way I'm doing it. Um because I'm not really um, preparing. Um, I'm not really, um, you know, I'm I'm doing these uh, lives just off the top of the dome. And the thing about, shout out to Maverick in the building. The thing about these lives, um, appreciate that Mav, is that they drain you, you know, they drain you when you're, you know, debating, having conversation with people, you know, it's literally like um, work. So, um shout out to what is life again um okay i don't know why that happened but um uh, are you talking about this life well let me just start that over um uh, yeah guys i am um tired so yesterday i was only going to do a two-hour live because i got to keep it two hours okay but normally um okay well we should be good now but yeah i was supposed to do a two hour live but i pushed it to four hours and i know y'all might not think that four hours is not that big of a deal doing two extra hours but it is um you know and i appreciate those super chats that people you know sent because it did help but um what happened was i was trying to do eight to ten eight really eight to nine but i pushed it to ten but then when i did eight to 10, it turned into 12. So then I went to sleep and then Cali girl, she goes to work. When she stays here, she has to leave at 7.15. So it woke me up, I had to go to the bathroom, I woke up and then it took me a minute to go back to sleep. And then I woke up like two hours later feeling like crap. So I feel like crap right now, because I gotta be, I gotta have a balanced schedule. So like this live, this live is only gonna be for an hour and then I'm going off. And I'm waiting for Christina to reach back out because we're supposed to have a live at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific time for an hour, maybe hour and a half max. But I got to keep these schedules. So I'm going to um, make sure to jump off when I'm supposed to jump off. Um, it gives people a want for more by not giving everything at one time. Um, you know, I got to keep it moving. So, yeah. Um, you know, I got the schedule to where I'm trying to do 10 a.m. To, to noon, and then I'm going to chill, do other business I got going on, and then I got work at um, 4 o'clock. I got to be at work at 4, so I got to leave here at 3. And then at 4, um, I'm going to work until 8. And normally with this job, it's kind of crazy because the job, um, I be getting done fast because I haven't had deliveries really it's kind of like backwards the way they run this company so oh yeah that's um my iphone iphone 15 got new noises i forgot to mute it so let me mute that so um shout out to christina hey christina No, you're right, Mav. Uh, I got it like the screen is killing me, but I do turn my brightness all the way down and I only listen to audio. And remember, Mav, um, don't remember I told you before when I was doing a vertical lives only, I told you don't worry about the number, the view count. Because remember, um, the good thing about the shout out to Hollywood, just blow me, <laughs> shout out to Rocco. Um, no, I'm not sick again. Actually, let me get some water. I'm going to put some water in this. Take my allergy pill. Yeah, I'm gonna take my allergy pill real quick because I think that makes a difference. Because you know, I gotta take this out of the day. I'll be kidding. Take it.
So what happens, if I don't get good sleep, if I don't get good sleep, I feel like crap. Shout out to Rocco. We got uh, Armando. I'll actually show you love on that because you're right. I'm actually about to go to Whole Foods and grab food um, because he's right about the eating. I need one time yesterday. So I'm going to go get uh, a good meal. And then I'm going to go get some um, hamburger meat so I can make ham uh, spaghetti later when I get off. So yeah, we're about to go do that. So, yeah, that's what we got. Um, I don't have fuel, as Amanda just said, so we're going to get that going. Um, what it's like, I thought my boss was letting someone listen to our convo low-key. Uh, what do you mean? Tell about yesterday when you came on? Uh, no, the AC was off. So I can't say the AC, and it was actually warm outside. So it was just, honestly, me not having the proper diet and not getting the proper rest, and I got to be on the schedule. That's all it is. Um, so, no, I appreciate that, Matt. Remember, um, when I do the vertical, yeah, I got the Discord. Go and look at it on the um, on a pro for my um description it should be a link there uh shout out to i just make comments the job is cool haven't really i haven't really got to really do the job yet because i mean i deliver one phone but like um you know yeah i'm gonna go get some um, i'm gonna go get some some um chipotle chicken like they make it at whole foods and make the chicken that's like chipotle chipotle and then i'm gonna have um some asparagus and some potatoes that's what i'm gonna go eat um yeah i don't know what what it's like but i don't know what you're talking about um with that so yeah rocco that's what i'm gonna go do so yeah guys um with me having adhd okay this is what how it works if i don't if i don't stick to a schedule structure rhino you're absolutely right if I don't stick to structure, uh, DJ go to Sprouts and get some watermelon waters, watermelon chunks to have on deck when you're doing your lives or to have during the day. Regis, I'm going to try that out. I'm going to go try. I'm going to get watermelon just for you. I'm going to actually let me do my list right now. I'm going to try that because I know you're the fitness, fitness guy. Let me do my list right now. I got to get some milk, watermelon. I'm gonna try that out. Actually, I'm gonna get pizza for tonight because I forgot Cali girls can maybe here and I ain't gonna be able to make spaghetti in time. Shout out to J Media. Um, so guys, when I say I got ADHD, what happens is you have to be on a schedule. If you're not on a schedule, um, it makes you feel like crap. No, I don't take no vitamins, map. Um, I don't take any of that, but you feel like crap. So what you gotta do is um and good morning, J Media, once again. I don't know if I just said it or not. It's like dead. So if you're not on a schedule, if you get off your schedule, it causes you to be flustered, frustrated, and drained. And yesterday was a good a couple good lives. So what I'm going to do now, I'm getting back. I'm going to do my 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Wake up show. Because I was waking up. I actually woke up at 7 a.m. I should have just stayed up. I should have just stayed up. I wasn't tired. But because I went back to sleep, because I figured if I don't go back to sleep, I'm going to be groggy all day. I shouldn't have went back to sleep. I should have stayed up. So I'm going to um, do my 10 o'clock or do this until 11. And then at 11, or I'm sorry, 12 Pacific time, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to go grocery shopping. And then at 1, um, Christine, I see you in the chat. I don't know if you still want to do that show. I text you. Just let me know. But, um, yeah, I want to do the show with Christine at 1. And then I'm going to... Um, Finish that up at two to two thirty, and then I'm going to um, um, get ready for work. And this time I'm gonna go to work early because I'm always late, like rushing. Okay, cool, Christina, we're gonna do that. So I'm always rushing late. So I figure I'll. Um, and by the way, Christina, I'm gonna do a thumbnail and I'm gonna call it something regular for today because um, we gotta come up with a name. That's the reason why I texted you the other day to say were you free to talk because um, I was gonna come up help. You know, we're going to come up with the name and stuff, but we ain't got time to do it today. Um, we can do that tomorrow. So I'll just call it, you know, something real talk, Christina or something. And then we can come up with the name and all of that um, later on. But we're going to do that show. 
then after that, um, I'm going to um, get dressed for work and I'm going to just go to work early. And then that way I can like be prepared this time and chill. And then after work, because normally any get one drop off, I'm going to do drop off if I get a drop off and I'll be done with work by seven and I'm going to come straight here and chill with Cali Girl for an hour. And then um, um, eight o'clock do the live for two hours. Cali Girl, you know, this is the thing with her. She's going to understand. I like I told her yesterday. OK. Um, and this show is kind of just a chat with me. I'm not really going to go too much in topic. It's going to be more so a chat about life. Um, and I'm going to put the link up. If anybody want to jump on the last half an hour, they can. Um, do your wake up show. Uh, shout out to Rural, Rural Two Goons TV. Appreciate that. Definitely. Um, uh, do the wake up show. Go out for a walk. Get your heart rate up. Sitting for long periods will drain you quick. You're right. Um, Miranda, that's the reason why I'm actually going to Whole Foods. I'm going to walk to Whole Foods. It's right down the street. So I'm going to walk there and get the groceries and then walk back instead of driving. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do because um, you're right. You need to get that, you know, a little bit of exercise or whatever. And since I'm not going to basketball, um, I cut that $200 membership off um, a, a week or so ago, paused it because I don't have time to go because my work schedule is exactly the time that they have basketball going. And then I got to pay $200 to only be able to go play on weekends. Um, so yeah, that's what we did. Uh, any new topics on last night live work talking or typical black versus white rhetoric? Um, no, what is life? This is the situation you gotta understand. Some ch certain channels cater to certain things, okay? With me, with my channel, I'm catering to inf share information that shout the nab in the building, appreciate you nab. I'm, I'm just, um, uh, giving you guys information on things that a lot of black um, people, um, Americans, for the most part, don't understand and don't have, um, you know, the information on. They don't know, for example, me and Pastor was going at it back and forth because I, I told him I don't want him moving in my community. Because if his son was a murderer and he found out his son was a murderer, he wouldn't turn his son in. He said he would never turn his son in. He would just, um, you know, like if his son did get caught, though. He would um, get him a lawyer and do all of that. But if his son uh, was a you know serial killer, he wouldn't turn him in. Like he said, the police got to do their job. Or if he saw me, for example, get a case of the beats at my apartment because some loser that he knows came and beat me up and he heard the dude's voice and he knows the dude, he won't tell. The police got to do their job. I said, I don't want him to move into my community. And I explained to him why. And that conversation, I hope, eventually ch changes him and turns him into the black men that we used to have in our community back in the day that policed our own community. Like we told and got did the right thing to get criminals locked up in jail for violent crime. I don't care about petty. You still in family at all. I don't care. Now, if you're going into a mom pa store and you're still in vacuum cleaners, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm gonna like have to like, like I'm sorry. You're turning turning you in, okay? Like, cause that mom and pop business is gonna get shut down because they can't take that blow. And then even with Walmart, like if people are still in Walmart, you know they're still in Walmart. All that's gonna happen is Walmart's gonna leave your city, and then you're gonna be complaining, blaming Walmart Corporation for not moving or staying in this community with the providing these jobs, the uh, access to pharmacy, access to food, and it turns you into a food desert. So what do you do? And then you wonder why property values in black communities dip and go low because it ain't just because of freaking like the white man doing it on purpose. No, it's because of us as a culture, because if we don't have stores, we don't have jobs, we don't have anybody that wants to be in our cities because of the fact we won't turn in the criminals. Y'all ask, y'all answer that question to me. What do you do? What do you do? Why would I want to move and buy a house in the black community when people are not going to be telling on criminals is going to bring the property values down? Make people that are um, quality people not want to move into our cities because they got to worry about somebody breaking into their garage if they accidentally forget to put the garage door down. And had that, and they had rushing to work and had to go to work, and they got to worry about somebody going in and stealing all their power tools out. Because guess what? If you go into, and you know what it is, if you go into an African, you go into an Indian, you go into a white community, suburb, and somebody sees you, a neighbor sees you creeping in somebody's garage, they're calling the cops immediately. Immediately. They're not going to wait wait around and hope that, you know, 
No, they're going to tell and they're not going to be called snitches. They're going to be called like upstanding neighbors, citizens. How hard is that to understand? And that's the information I'm sharing. I'm going to share it until I die because guess what? I have a solution and I want to get in position to allow myself to have a platform. You know, I don't know if it's going to be mayor, it's going to be something, even with all the stuff I said on here, because now that you can freestyle and be, and say bad stuff in the past and you can still make it happen. I, that's what I want to do because I know how to fix a lot of these issues. We need to go back to what it used to be 20 years ago. So that's the reason why I talk about these topics because they pertain to black people because I'm black. My family are, is black. I don't have any white family. I don't really even have white friends really other than Christina. Like I don't have friends really at all. I mean, I have people that would call themselves my friend, but I don't, I don't, you know. So all I'm saying guys is like, I'm sorry. Some people have a passion in life. My passion at one point was to get money and be famous and like, like get rich quick. That was my passion in life. Okay. Originally it was to be a scientist, engineer. I wanted to like build, you know, robotics and all of that. But then, you know, I inherited money and I l jumped away from that. During, uh, I had a baby that is biologically mine. I got to say that because we know we got a lot of people that are trying to like call me the worst or whatever. We're not doing that. But, um, I got out of robotics and then I, um, went in trying to just get money. Okay. And then it took me to a path of going broke. And then when I went to Vegas and realized the suffering that my people, and I say my people, the people that I grew up with, people I love, people that I have care for, that they're dealing with struggle because of their own vices, because of their own mentality, not realizing that they're making themselves a victim, you know, smoking weed when you're, if you're on welfare, if you don't have a job, you can't be smoking weed. I'm sorry. You got to be prepared to go get a job. Okay. Like now, if you got a job and you're on welfare, I don't care. Smoke all the weed you want, but you can't be doing pills. You can't be doing crack. You can't be doing none of that. You're off welfare, period. That goes for everybody. Where's wordplay at? Like where, like, like, like where's wordplay at? Wordplay. Are you in the chat wordplay? You need to get over here. Wordplay. Wordplay. But look, um, I'm 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 about trying to help people understand that they can be better, do better. I have people, family that didn't work, didn't get a job for freaking until they're like 25, 26 years old. That should be happening. I started working at 16. I didn't have to, but I chose to because I wanted to have a good life. I wanted to be able to buy all the food I wanted. I wanted to buy clothes. I wish I would have knew about money before I got the job because I would have you know saved money and all this and that. But that's the reason why I'm sharing that information to you guys. You know, and no matter what y'all say, I pick up the positive people that are doing it. How many times y'all see me and Regis jump on here, shouting Regis out all day, okay? You know, like he's doing his thing. You know, Nab doing his thing. Mav doing his thing, even. I'm talking about people that tell me they're doing their thing. Christina, she's doing her thing. Holding down her family. Everybody is doing their thing. What is like doing this thing? He came on here, he has a solid job, not having, making no babies until he can, you know, afford them. A lot of people, H way, doing his thing. Like, I know I'm missing people, wordplay doing his thing. Y'all know what I'm saying. But the point of the matter is, a lot of people that come on here aren't doing their thing. They're victim mindset people because they're like me, to where I felt like I was a victim, like everybody did wrong to me. But really, I put myself in that situation. It wasn't nobody's fault but my own. I'm the one that did that. You know, and a lot of people need that, that kick in the butt. And that's what I'm offering on this channel. That's what I'm doing. Um, what is life? Yeah, I, I talked more of um, social po topics yesterday. <laughs> it was more of like um, liberal versus conservative, like why liberals are for the most part against law and order. You know, they're against, um, you know, pretty much everything that will make for um, kids have the best chance of being successful, which is having a nuclear family and all of it, you know, the, the the things that any of us can achieve. That's all yesterday was about for the most part. Um, like back in the day where if a store was disrespectful to black folks, the next day there'd be black folks outside letting them know not to treat us like that. Um, Nav, here's the situation. The only time that happened was if it was a store that we weren't like stealing from. Like if we weren't doing crime in that store, then yes, we would be out. Like we would actually just not go to that store. We were protesting against that store. But you got to remember, the times have changed.
back in the day, you know, you weren't doing crime. Nobody was stealing. It was all love, but they were still treating us like criminals. Now you have people that go in and they're stealing from these stores. And then they want to feel like helpless victims because people don't want them in the store no more. I'm sorry. If I'm a mom and pop store and it seems like these particular people are the only ones out here stealing, then I'm sorry. I don't want you in my store. Cause I don't want to have to deal with like the cost of replacing the goods that are stolen every month. I can't afford that if you're a small business. So I'm just saying times have changed to where we see it happening and we look the other way in our community because of this stupid no snitch policy. That's only hurting us, you know, because companies are leaving. Yep, food desert, you got to shop at Dollar Tree. And then, like, here we go with one. Black folks ain't stealing tools. Um, aren't stealing tools. Of course, we're not stealing tools. But guess what? The people that are stealing tools, the public, when they see it happen, they're tackling them and calling the cops. Because you see all the videos, people stealing tools. And when we steal tools, it's the local crackhead that's stealing tools and they're selling them on the street. So we do too, but I wouldn't say it's as much as, as bold as the people that, you know, white folks that are the ones doing that. We're more of like petty, but it's consistently and it's a lot of people doing it. It ain't nothing wrong with putting an extra snicker bar in a buggy. I don't care about that. I'm talking about when you're literally in Walmart, like you got spark drivers, for example, when I was in Wilmington, who was literally filling up their buggies and walking out with a buggy full of groceries, not paying for it, making my life hard because now I got to get checked every single time I'm ready to leave, you know? Um, white folks, white people want to buy the houses in the hood, cheap property, and then they up the price in the hood. Uh, here's the situation with that. They don't necessarily just up the price. What happens, you can't just go into a hood because you're white. It's going to be worth more. No, what happens is what the white folks do is they go into a community and a bunch of them will go in and buy a whole neighborhood up, okay? And then they do fixing, such as cutting everybody's grass, making sure everybody's grass is cut. You know, if the if the front porch looks crappy, they're going to paint their front porch. They're going to upkeep their home. You know, they're going to remodel. You know, they do things like that because a lot of them go in and buy the property, own the property. And I get it. If you don't own, this number keeps calling me. Hello? 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 Yes. Man, she's speaking. Jesus Christ, these freaking stupid idiots. So, yeah, what happens is they up the property because they put money into the property, okay? And I know firsthand because when I moved to, to um, Campbell, and I moved to the outs, right, outskirts of it with a bunch of crappy houses around me. What I did was immediately go and do a whole makeover for the yard. Like I literally cut the grass. I trimmed the, um, the, the curve with the weed whacker to where I made it like perfect. Like it looked like a freaking what people would deem a white person lives there. And it sucks that when you see a nice yard, people assume white people live there. That blacks can't, can't do that. And we do that too. But the situation is I did that with the yard. And then I painted the porch, even though I didn't own the property, I, I was renting, but I put that time in because I spent $200 and the house looked like a freaking, like, like upgraded house. Like it was nice. And then in the house, I repainted the whole house myself. You know, I took the carpet out because the, the person prior to me destroyed it. I did all these fixing. Okay. And that's usually what happens when they move in, they call it gentrification. Now, I'm not talking about gentrification though. Most of the time, it's just people moving in with class and respect for a community where they just upgrade their property and make it look nice. You know, like you have the people that don't, don't walk on my grass to the kids. Don't walk on my yard. Don't cut through my backyard. You know, that's what I'm saying. Anybody can do that. You know, and it don't matter about skin color. It just matters about being taking pride in your community. It's just certain people just don't take pride in the community. um that's my issue with you you say you have no white friends or family yet you speak about white think you know what they really are bro give it a rest stop speaking negative on your own kind okay the new fic you're okay look dude i'm not it's too early for me to even go back and forth with you dude when i say i don't have friends i don't have people that i talk to every day dude i was in a white fraternity like i'm an alumni like of a white five kappa ta look me up 
Youngstown chapter, even though I think the chapter shut down because the house got burnt up. But dude, I have white friends, of course. But I'm talking about people that I actually associate every day. I don't have that. Cause I don't talk to nobody really. Okay. Shout out to Brandon in the building. Like, how hard is it to understand? And remember, if anybody wants to jump on, I'm gonna be on for a half, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna allow for a half an hour at 11.30 Pacific time. Um, let's see. No, Rhino, um, that's the inside joke. When I see a chick outside, I say wordplay. I'm trying to get wordplay in that hot tub, okay? That's all it is, it ain't no big deal. Wordplay lives like close, I think. So I'm just trying to get them, I'm trying to give them a reason here to like um, come and like, first off, Rhino, if I really wanted to check out the chicks, you know what I would do? I would do this. Guys, give me one second. But yeah, you know, I like, dude, like it ain't that, it ain't rocket science, okay? It ain't rocket science. Like, stop it, okay? Cali girl ain't stupid. Like if I was really trying to check out some chicks, I would literally just pause the, I would pause the camera and I would go outside and say, oh, can I pet your dog? Like, come on. Uh, let's see. Yep, working on me, nothing. You got to have the right mindset with money. Absolutely, you're right. Um, Given my number, it wouldn't be the first time I back check from a different state. Nah, what it's like, that'd be creepy. I'm not doing that. You got to be here because um, I'm not about to be that. I live here. I ain't about to be out harassing neighbors. Like, yo, I got a dude that lives out of town. Um, Christina, stop what? I don't know. Oh, you mean wordplay? Like, no, I'm checking wordplay now. It's all good. Funny if never found your channel. Um, I might put my, my channel name out there and they could find my channel. I don't care. You know, it's all love. Um, I know people who never had a job. They're living their best life. Um, Real Two Goons TV, okay? Um, in our community, um, most people that don't, that never worked a job before are usually drug dealers or um, social, um, um, drug dealers, scammers, and um, social benefit um, as recipients, okay? Like, come on, like, like, keep it a buck. There's not a lot, not, there's not majority of us who don't work owning businesses, okay? Um, that just ain't happening. Um, so we can, you know, cut that, that pipe dream out because that ain't happening. By the way, guys, um, I'm 10 minutes behind, so let me just go down. Shout out to Robbie. Nah, my voice ain't getting a hor uh, horse. I'm just drained. AMC might go up now, but I'm not messing with the stock market. Cyclops, shout out to you. Oh, yeah, I had a presentation today for my cybersecurity class, incident response planning and disaster recovery. Shout out to you, Brandon. Good luck with that. Yeah, guys, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, yep, Brandon is a successful guy. He already... You already know, which is why he brought he brings the quality. He's a structured individual. Like you know what I put structure into um anything. Um let's see. Gentrification, yep, but you know, a lot of that ain't gentrification that happens, it's just people that respect the community gonna come in and um, remodel, cut grass, you know, do little things to fix up the neighborhood. And it makes a difference, okay? Because you gotta remember, people are willing to pay more if it feels like, you know, a good, a good um, quality situation. By the way, guys, um, I said it yesterday, I'm gonna say it again. We made some moves. First paycheck and first taxes taken out of my check directly in about, I think about 15 years. Here we go, right here. There we go. First check. Okay. So officially done with ride share and gig work. With this job, I can do this job. It's only four hours a day, and I'm making 20, um, pretty much for the most part, 22 to 2300 dollars a um, month. Okay, for four hours. So that allows me to have four to five hours to do something else, like another job. And add that to this, put myself in a position to earn five to six thousand dollars a month. So I'm gonna do this uh, for another, you know, couple of weeks. I'm gonna look for a second job to do during the day because um, this job ain't gonna cut it um, solo. 
and ride share and gig work and all that ain't it. It's just too dead. So I'm gonna find something that I'm able to get some, you know, get some um conversation for. Um, shout out to Roy in the building. Not no yelling match for me. I'm gonna let people come on though in like um 17 minutes, but yeah, no yelling match for me. Um I'm gonna um relax on that um conversation. Um no, not scammers, just um yeah, somebody pretty much keeps calling from like a election like pretty much democrats i get the republicans they be hitting me up too but democrats they do it the most they be hitting me up um asking for donations and it annoys me because i literally i've never been i've never been a political uh commentator or political campaign tr contributor No, the reason why I said yes was because I am too angry to like play games. I just wanted them to tell me who they are. So that's the reason why, yeah. But you're right, you shouldn't be telling them and confirming who you are. Um I had a Puerto Rican friend in the suburbs in Chicago who would cut the yards of his whole of his whole street sometimes for free. Yeah, that's what people used to do. That's what people used to do. Um, you know, my stepdad used to make me cut the, you know, elderly's yard too. Now nah, I'm only going to be on this, this slide for an hour and I'm going off and me and Christina is coming back on at one o'clock Pacific time. The Phi Theta Kappa and NSLS are my organizations, which I'm affiliated. Yeah, I mean, I'm Phi Kappa Ta, even though I don't really, you know, donate or do anything because I just joined really to, um, it was a brotherhood, but it was really just to get some cheap rent. And then it became a brotherhood and cool, but then it ended kind of nasty because I dropped out of school. So, yeah. Um, I know the joke, but you ain't miss a single chick that walks past the window. Um, Didn't you just see me look at this? There's a dude right here. Like there's a dude right here, and when he walked out, I looked at the dude too. I like looking at the dogs first off. Like that's a beautiful dog. These people here got beautiful dogs. Yeah, beautiful dogs. But yeah, I look at everybody that walks out. Um, it ain't just about women; it's everybody because I want to know who's behind me, and I like to have my window open, so that's the reason why I do that. Eventually, I'm going to move into a um, closer to the pool unit. So that way I can just open my door and go to the pool whenever I want. And um, that's that's wall uh, ceiling to floor um, um, windows. But I got this place because I thought that I was going to because I was, you know, making money sports betting. I thought I was going to have enough control to maintain that. So I figured if I can maintain that, um, I would be able to. Um, uh, if I was going to maintain that, I was going to be able to sports bet and then I would just you know, get a dog because I'll be at home most of the time and everything be cool, but it ain't work out that way because I don't have the uh, impulse control. Roy, yeah, Roy lives in Las Vegas. No, next time, Roy, I'm going to hit you up, definitely. Um, you know, like, you know, Roy, I want you to understand I'm kind of an introvert, so uh, it's kind of hard for me to hit somebody up like, hey, I'm in town. But next time, for sure, I'll hit you up. I would love to do a podcast, maybe. While I'm in Vegas, or my podcast would walk around Vegas, maybe. Really, I, I might just ride my bike one day out there. And then, you know, we can see about, like, I'm pretty sure they got bike rentals out there. Maybe we we'll just do a ride. You know, I got the camera set up for you and me. I, you know, the camera pretty much put the camera on the bike and we can stream live. I got like devices to do it. Like, I got like enough devices to where you have a device on your phone, uh, on your whole, um, on your bike. Then I have a device on my bike and then we can just, you know, stream while riding. And we're going to ride around Vegas. I think that'd be pretty dope to do. And he can show me how to shift properly because I'm still learning. Shout out to Robbie, the amazing biker boy. But yeah, I might ride to Vegas one day. I might ride maybe even this weekend if, if things work. I got to get my, I got to cash money out. So you should be able to get a tax rebate in 2023. Yep. I'm probably going to get a tax rebate. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm keeping this job, keeping this job. Uh, Armando, um, I should, <laughs> but no, because there's more work to do. But 
you know, I, I you know, I, I'll give you credit for that. You, Christina, you know, H way, you know, um, what is life? A lot of you guys that wanted me to get this job, J media, y'all wanted me to get a job. Y'all said it was gonna be better for my mental health than it is because this job pays my bills. I'm good. This job pays my bills. Now, of course, when my rent um, goes back to being normal in um, July, I have to like get a sec for sure. have a second job because my rent now my bills are up to four thousand dollars a month. Right now my bills are twenty five four hundred dollars a month, pretty much. So with this YouTube, YouTube my job, I make enough. But next, like in July, I got to get a second job for sure. But by then, hopefully, I'm done with that that school, so that way I can um, you know, get a job that I can make money. But yeah, I I tried. I've tried to do gig work the past you know couple weeks, but it's been nasty. Like DoorDash, I can't even get a delivery. And then when I come and I quit and I come back in and I forget to turn the app off, something pops up randomly always. Grubhub is trash. But one thing that I did notice is I might just suck it up and do um, is, is flex. Flex sucks because you get a lot of deliveries that you got to deliver. And sometimes I hate coming downtown. If they don't make you come downtown, it's good. But they be having deliveries on here to where you get like $88 for like um, three hours or $88 for four hours. And the thing with flex is, they pay you, they got to pay you per hour, a minimum of 19, I think 50, and then you get mileage. So usually you end up making more than what they pay, because usually if it takes you four hours to do a block, then they have to pay you the difference because when I do, I only do blocks that include tips. So what happens is you get like, the block is three hours and you get paid $56 maybe. And then um, you get a tip and a tip is usually boosted up to a hundred dollars. When I see those, I take those all day. But they don't come as often. People snatch those up fast. Let's see. Um, I see you rock Nike. You support child labor. Let's get this chat heated. We'll, we'll, no, um, I support Nike because um, I like the quality of the material. And I'm not going to act like I'm not a capitalist. Like, I'm not, like, I'm, I don't, I mean, I'm sorry. You have child working and doing um, I wish God didn't birth you into that situation, but it is what it is. I'm not going to act like I'm a virtual stick signaler and I'm, you know, unlike the Democrats that all about slavery and reparations and, and, you know, the, all this and that, they want to pander, but they're the main ones um, profiting because Nike is a liberal company. You know, they jump on all the liberal um, um, events and ideas and all that craziness they jump on. Black Lives Matter, they, they, you know, everything. So, yeah, I'm not, gonna, I don't play like, you know, I'm a, um, you know, uh, perfect, you know. My income for 2018 was 58,000. Some income, that same income with inflation today is like $72,000. That's good money, man. Shout out to you. Um, I'm not there yet. I'll get there, though. Yeah, we're gonna keep it mature. Uh, I'm not gonna go too heavy. What we're gonna actually talk about though, after I finish these comments, I could face the window, but that'd be creepy. I'm not gonna do that because then I'm gonna be nervous about looking up. Cause I'm gonna be looking like I'm a creep looking up. Hot tub, you germ soup bowl, Christina. I'm confused. Imagine if that was Skid Row. I could one day I walk walk through Skid Row. And it's gonna be kind of nasty. No, it's all good, Roy. I know. I'm just kind of like blah right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get closer to the pool. Maybe it depends. If I get the dog, no, I'm gonna be up here because I want to be. I got it because I want to be able to walk out and just you know walk out with my dog. But now if my daughter moves here, I'm probably gonna look to get the one across the hall if they if they're not there if it's still open. I think they're there though. It's two bedrooms, but it's like like twenty hundred dollars a month. But yeah, we're gonna see. Uh, blast the fools. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, I would do it as long as I get to ride behind DJ. Oh, heck no. You ain't doing that, Brandon. You're going to get your own bike. You can, I'll, learn, I'll show you how to ride. Yeah, flex is okay because, see, Christina, if I do flex, shout out to the Kelly in the building. So if I go to the, if I do flex, the way it works is um, I would do flex one shift of flex, which would be like, say, four hours for like $100. I don't like those ones because there's a lot of stops. So I'd rather do the ones, like I said, with tips. So when those start popping up, I'm going to start getting and doing those. 
or like the ones that pop up randomly. But if I do flex, um, I go, I do, you know, a block, I make like $80 in like four hours max, but it's going to be about three hours normally, but four, four hours max, $80. And you combine that with my pay for the day with um, this job I got, which comes out to about, um, give or take, um, you know, 500. So you figure you add five days plus the five, it's pretty much you add four hundred dollars if i get one if i get five blocks of flex every week with the job uh money i'll make about nine hundred dollars with mileage and gas that i get from ashorian i walk away with a thousand dollars a week and that's going to be with seven hours five days a week of work just say eight hours that's 40 hours of work for um pretty much forty eight thousand gross okay so that's worth the money right there okay and those these jobs allow me to do other stuff while doing that which is you aka youtube okay i could do youtube while i'm doing these things all right so we're at the bottom shout out to dash and trader in the building shout out to you bro uh why would you visit skid row you are sickly with a weak immune system i want to be sick sick i'm not sickly really but now i want to show y'all what democrat policy gets you because literally you shouldn't have people sleeping on the ground. People are literally on the ground, sleeping on a pavement under a blanket, like rats biting their flesh. Like it's freaking terrible. Um, yeah, I'm at peace. And mind you, I don't get paid until I'm supposed to get paid Friday. But when I, I was told the first check sometimes is delayed. Um, I hope it's not the case because, you know, I put all my right banking account information and stuff, but we'll see. I had to send to a business account, so hopefully I have no issues with that. Um, um, De Kelly, I don't know who was hating on you, but I was hating on you. I don't know what you. I would love it to be eighty-two degrees out here. I'm sorry, but you got me thinking about eighty k nonstop now. <laughs> there you go. So, guys, um. I saw something earlier that um, this is like, this ties into what I told y'all yesterday, um, how when you're, you know, you have people, grown men who are um, preying on kids, how they don't get arrested somehow, they get away with it. I don't understand it. Um So, oh, that's brutal. 41 degrees. Uh, I can imagine that. Um, so, lack of accountability in our community. We get away with murder, okay? And we're only hurting our people. Now, look, guys, that's, I'm not going to go into that story. I'll save that for another, uh, for maybe later tonight. Um, the Dalton mayor. Um, she's up to no good again there's a lot of nastiness that's going on it's all clipped on this video that i was going to play but i'm not going to do that right now um let me go back into guys why i do this for the next five minutes um and then we're going to put the link up for people to jump on so guys look um look the reason why once again my channel is majority um and y'all can hit me in the chat now i'm caught up that is you feel like then as you feel like you have bravery and personality to explore Skid Row, probably shouldn't visit wearing Nike. Um, no, I'm going to wear whatever I want because you got to understand, um, the people aren't bad people. There's just a lot of them are hooked on drugs. Um, a lot of them are just, you know, gave up on life. You know, a lot of them need a conversation from me and, you know, um, not giving up on yourself, fighting, beating the odds. You know, the problem is a lot of people, are um on skid row because they just tapped out like i could have tapped out when i was sleeping in the car and i had people on you know youtube bashing me making me feel you know low about myself i could have gave up and said you know what f this f everybody um you know i didn't do that though and a lot of those people do that and they just need that person to say dude you can do it you can make it happen 
Um, that's my message I'm trying to do or put out there. I'm trying to get people to understand. So now here we go with um example, the reason why I do what I do. So the Kelly is just saying that she wants a guy that makes eighty thousand dollars. And then you have another black guy, you know, who says, um, go get your white man. Because guess what? He feels like black men shouldn't be looked upon to earn $80,000. Why is that so much to ask for when the average income is like, I think, $55,000 that the average person makes? But I think the average man, I think the average professional man makes like $80,000. So what are you trying to say? You can't be a professional? And our black women can't ask for a professional um, earner if they qualify for that guy. If that guy likes that woman, he should she shouldn't have that. That's the same as you, the new fix. If you had your marbles together, that's like you wanting a woman with an attractive body because she goes works out. She has a good personality. She has a good heart. You can trust her. She's caring, sweet. That's how you wanted that woman. And the w late women as a whole saying, you don't deserve that woman because of your skin color. That's freaking nasty. That's the same as a woman saying she wants a man that makes $80,000. Why can't she? Because she's black. She can't ask for a guy that earns $80,000. You know, now, is she going to get that guy? Maybe not. She might not be qualified because she not, might not be the thing that guys that make that much want. But she shouldn't be demonized for getting it. But then you have with the Kelly. Kelly, instead of you understanding that, the new fix is probably just like at this point, a dude that plays video games and ain't working hard enough to get to that point. Does it have um, the motivation, the um, willpower to earn that much if he wanted to even earn that much? Instead of understanding he's the rarity, because most men of all colors want to achieve financial success which i would deem 60 would deem you you know financially successful in america because you can move a lot of places like a king with six thousand. but for you to say it ain't my problem black men don't want to make money that's ignorant for you to say as a black woman gotta hold you accountable you know that's nasty you know um you shouldn't be saying that because you know that there's a lot of men of all colors that want to earn eighty thousand dollars you're just choosing to engage with dudes that just don't have the mentality to understand that it's embarrassing to be fighting with a woman because she wants a man that earns eighty thousand dollars that's how embarrassing is that i'm sorry i would just not talk if i don't want to work my way up to making sixty seventy thousand dollars then i'm sorry i'm just not going to talk because cali girl makes that a little more than that so who am I? I shouldn't be with Cali girl if I couldn't, if I didn't think that I was going to level myself up. Because I don't want to be no house husband. I want to just be a stay-at-home dad. You know? So I'm just not going to talk. That's embarrassing. So y'all both need to, you know, change your rhetoric in regards to that and realize that it's just the ones you guys um, engaging with. You know? And I would say that I won't, won't, I won't say that's lazy because not everybody, Kelly, can be successful. A lot of people are dumb. Um, I'm black and slow. As the great Jesse Lee Peterson would say, I have a limit to where I can be. And that goes for a lot of people, not just black people, all white people, all kinds of people. So it don't make you lazy not earning 80000 It means you just aren't capable. You know, some people are just going to earn 50000 their whole life. Nothing wrong with that. Just your level you're on. And then what is life? How do you know she stink? How do you know Kelly stink? She's going to the gym, working out. She got your shoulder face. I don't know. Um, she didn't come on talking about 80K. Somebody brought it out of her. Somebody said um, 80K, so she just jumped in um, defending herself. She didn't bring it up. And Kelly, just like I told Christina, you're free to come on live. You can jump on my live. And when I'm not doing my lives, you're free. You got the, you got, okay, I'm not going to be on.
today I'm not going to be on. Um, uh, me and Kelly, I mean, Christina, we're doing our show at one o'clock Pacific time. And then I'm going to jump off um, at about 2.30 Pacific time. And then it's open for you and Christina. You know, if y'all want to jump on and do a live show, y'all can do a live show without me. You know, I trust that y'all going to do right by it. You know, y'all ain't got to ask. I mean, you got to tell me you got to do it. And I'll be like, okay, cool. And I'll set up the stream yard for you, but you can go do it, do it on your own, you know? So if, if people want more of, Chris, uh, of Kelly or Christina. I agree with you right there. What it's like, you don't have to have a woman like, um, you don't have to have a woman like Kelly. Um, if you don't want a woman like Kelly, that's your right. But you can't tell Kelly she doesn't have a right to what a man that she wants. And she doesn't want a, a dude that she deems um, broke. You know, and that's on her. She might end up lonely with cats, the way she's thinking. But I mean, that's on her. Uh, if she chooses to wait out for that dude, then so be it. She probably get it eventually. Um, the new fix. If you're not black, so stop telling me as a black man to stop talking about um, issues in my community. Okay, you don't have the right to do that. Talk about your community. Okay, that's the reason why I thought you was black because you are so outspoken about what I communicate. You know, you literally make it seem like, um, you know, what I'm saying is fake. Like I got a daughter that can't even sit on the porch because the blacks around her shooting, doing drive by. She can't walk to the store by herself because people be trying to kidnap and rob and steal from her. Like this is a reality that these black, black kids got to deal with and nobody's talking about it because people that talk about it are called Aunt Candace Owens and they're called bad. because. The people don't want light shed on the negative. So I don't know what y'all be talking about when it regards to that. All right, let's see. Um, I agree. I agree with you there. You shouldn't be telling people to go get a white man because they want to, like the new fix. Why would, are you white? I don't understand that. Like you're not black. So th there you go. The new fix. This is what I'm talking about. Guys, if he's not black, this is what I'm talking about. This is the liberal mind right here. You see, he if he's really not black, that means he's either white or Hispanic. You see how he's telling us as black people, he's telling Kelly to go get a white man because white men are more inferior than, or, or more successful and more qualified than, than than black men because guess what? It's what is so much to ask for a man to make eighty thousand dollars. So you gotta go the white man. You see how he bigged up the white men as supreme more supreme than blacks? This is what I'm talking about. This is the liberal mindset right here. I grew you there what it's like. She shouldn't have insulted and said black men. She shouldn't have said that. But at the same time, um, it's only black men that are going out her neck about the 80,000. Nobody else. I mean, it's our culture, I guess. Maybe we're just opposed to women wanting a guy that will be deemed successful because um, I'm sorry, 60, 80,000 is successful in this country. Making $40,000 a year, it, it ain't it, okay? Unless you live in a small, middle, nowhere town. Rory, you missed um, a white supremacist telling a black woman to go get a white man if she wants a guy to make eighty thousand dollars. She can't go looking for a black man. That's what you missed. That's what you missed. You missed a white man telling. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I put the link up. That'd be the topic that we have for the next half an hour. Now I gotta end this live. I gotta go grocery shopping. Y'all tell me, okay? Wouldn't that be deemed a white supremacist for that guy to tell? me as a black man or tell her as a black woman if she wants somebody to make eighty thousand dollars go get over a white man black men don't make eighty thousand dollars i don't get it you literally said that the new thing said go get you a white man shout out oh, the room <laughs> what, what do you think about that wouldn't that be deemed a white supremacist if a white guy because he's not black he said he's not black um so he's either white or hispanic more likely white he a black woman said that she wants a man 
that makes 80,000, which is her right. She might end up single forever. She might not find that guy. She's not qualified for a guy that makes that much money, but it's still her right to say she wants that out of her man because she makes that. So my question to you is, wouldn't he be a, the, the liberal walking contradiction of a white premise by saying, go get your white man when she said she wants a man that makes 80,000? Uh, yeah, I guess you could almost say that. I guess you could say that. I guess um, I don't know if if, it, if he if he's speaking on statistical data, then he could say that maybe more white guys make that kind of money than black guys. So I, uh, I guess that you depends no, on how you no, frame. No, no, Roy, I want you to. I I didn't believe this statistic, but you do know if you take all working black men, no unemployed black men, no dead, be no losers. All working black men, the average income for black men is like eighty-four thousand dollars. I didn't notice. I thought it was fake, but it's real. All working black men that work full-time jobs, the average income is eighty-four thousand dollars in this country. That's what she okay. wants. So, how hard is it for uh, somebody to understand that a lot of men earn eighty thousand dollars? It's just uh, some of us just earn the average, which is fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Well, but you got to remember, you said the working men. How, um, what is the percentage of working men to un not working men? I don't if, she know has a pool, if she has a pool of two million guys and only five like uh, only five hundred thousand are making that eighty k, her chances of finding one is still very slim. No, it ain't because the black unemployment rate um, is like six percent right now. So you got to factor. That means that um, you know what, 94% of black men work some type of job. I know that stigma, but there's a bunch of black men just on, you know, out here not making money, drug dealers and all that. That's the smaller few. And I was ignorant to that. A lot of black men do work. It's just the ones that don't work are the ones outside. They're the loudest in the room. They're the ones that are literally like the biggest voices, which is why I call the black culture trash because we allow the drug dealers, the scammers, the small few people that are losers to like speak for all of black people because we give them the platform if that makes sense yeah well i don't know how they came up with that figure of 80 grand i don't know how they came up with that figure so. it's all working all working black men i mean it i mean I, I mean i think i think what it is is um when you have a statistic they they factor in all people of a race not working working and all of that so in fact, go ahead and I'll pull the statistic out while you while you just while you go. Yeah, but bro, come on, bro. You, you gotta remember some of those statistics are a bunch of bullshit. Um, think about it, bro. How many how many uh, how many black friends you got making eighty grand? Uh, I I got a bunch. I got a bunch. Um, I got, but these are professional people. You understand? My family, all my family, they're all struggling. But when I moved to California, like I know a lot of dudes that are earning um, between fifty to 80,000 it's like normal but like in Youngstown where I'm from it was unheard of for me to meet a guy that makes 60 70,000 I thought the dude was like he he's too good he thinks he's too good yeah I don't know um it, I guess and it also depends on your circles too man if you're hanging around a bunch of brothers that got lots of money then of course your your experience is going to be different than the average brother that hangs around with the homies around the house or whatever you know they're not going to be making it I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it, she I can, pick, in my my opinion, she can pick whoever she wants. But the whole gotta have eighty k. I don't. I think I read her comment. She didn't say she had. They have to make eighty k. She said that you have to make eighty k just to survive. So I don't know. Okay. So well, sure. well, I think. See, this is the thing, um, Roy. What I usually do when I before I talk about certain things, people think I be having talking points, but I actually do. A little bit of research on it. Now, this is just one. This is actually a unbiased source right here, um, Pew Research. Okay, so here's here's an unbiased source that I'm gonna just pull up real quick, uh, just to okay. show a couple numbers. I gotta, here. Drop, I gotta drop off the delivery real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, good. Okay, so guys, um, we got a lot of comments here. We got a lot of comments here, um, guys. If you want to jump on, jump on. But I'm not gonna be in the chat for a second. OK, um, I'm going to focus on these um, numbers here. So right here you have this is a uh, respectable resource here. Looks like you have um, 2022. There's an estimated 4.47.9 million people who self-identify as black, making up 14.4 percent of the country population. 
It's a, a 32% increase since 2000. Okay. So um, you have, let's get to the money here. Um, most of us, looks like most of us live in the South. Okay. Now, income. Here we go. Um, so among Blacks, 50% of Blacks as a whole earn um, under $50,000. And then you have 17% of blacks earning from 50 to 74,000, 11% earning 75.99 and 22% earning 100 plus thousand dollars a year. Y'all understand that blacks are uh, and this is actually um US household. Household. So I got that I got that um uh, I I got to differentiate the the two. But another statistic here Four out of 10 U.S. black um, households are headed by married couples, okay? So it looks like 39% of us are married, but those are the people that aren't being heard. And then you have, which is a nasty statistic, of 31% of, um, of our households being held, um, headed by women, which is the nasty part of it. But when it comes down to it, a lot of the bad that I talk about, I tell y'all, there's good in the black community. The problem is you don't have enough of the good being talked about because when I try to talk about the good, it ain't nobody wants to hear, nobody wants to listen. Okay. But then when I talk about the bad, y'all want to listen because y'all want to be drama and y'all want to like go off for me because I want to talk about the bad that people are doing because the people that are earning the 27%, less than 25,000, which is terrible, um, they're the ones with the biggest voices, they're the ones the most loud. They're the ones that's like, um, you know, doing the crime. They're the ones doing all the bad in our neighborhoods. And we're not talking about those people because um, they got the biggest voices. They're the cool ones. But the people that are earning 22 percent of us earning 100 plus thousand a year. They're not being heard. I didn't even know there was that many people, you know, as a percentage. So, but Roy, my question to you would be this. Um, don't you think that um, it's nasty that. And shout out to Kelly. She's on here now. Don't you think it's nasty that Kelly can't ask for a guy that make eighty thousand a year without her being told to go find a white guy? Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of limp dick. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah, the race doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter because we know they're just main broke ass white people that are black people. So, exactly. and then day, bro, it doesn't matter. Exactly. There's no guarantee she's gonna find. Yeah, there's no guarantee she's gonna find a white guy that makes eighty, let alone a black guy that makes eighty. So it doesn't really matter. So. Yeah. And Brandon, by the way, before I let, before you go, Kelly, Brandon, I know because you know you, Brandon, you be on the liberal side of the talking points when I be having my my conversation. Like, don't let's not cap. That's family household. That's household twenty seven or twenty five thousand or under. That's two. That's literally a household with with you know like like a kid or two people, a household, $25,000, you should be making more than that. I'm sorry. If you got two adults in a house, you should be making nothing under $50,000. But once again, it's susceptible when it comes to us. We'll live bare minimum and think no different because I did that. And I didn't think no different about it. But go ahead, Kelly. Okay, well, that, okay, okay, I'm going to call you out real quick, Dennis. You, you say that, oh, that's despicable. That's this. That's not enough. It's just that. Uh, you know how hard it is to make money, right? Yeah. Okay, so so why does this why we gotta put people down just because they don't make the riches that you think they should make? Okay, maybe they can only do twenty five grand. Maybe they don't have the the knowledge or the fucking ability to make more than twenty five grand. Why is it why is everybody gotta put people down like that? If I, I look at it this way, if you make twenty five grand and you hold it down your family and you doing the right thing and doing shit right, what difference does it make if you have twenty five or a hundred grand? What can okay, I say something? Um, can I just, yeah, let me just respond to that point and then I'll let you, you, and then Roy, let's let her go real quick. And then look, Roy, the reason why is because when I look at, I'm not gonna pull up the statistics right now because I want to, you know, um, go in deep. I'd have to be for later tonight, smoke show. Look, Roy, in the black community, the people, the kids, when they get surveyed, or not surveyed, but when they do the statistics on juveniles, people in the juvenile justice system, okay, when they do the numbers, based off of like the 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 parent you know uh, most of them come from single parents and most of them come from people earning under thirty thousand dollars a year like i'm talking about 80 
plus percent of these individuals that are in juvenile justice, kids that are being um, in a, a foster care, black kids that are in foster care are coming from families, women that are pretty much earning under 30,000 a year, uh, families coming. So if you look at our communities and people saying that poverty causes people to do crime and to kill, kill and murder and all of this and that, you can't have it both ways and say that like poverty doesn't make murderers. But then I'm telling you that when you have 25,000 household income, which is poverty for the most part, like, like how is that even going to be looked past? We can't. You can't have it both ways. I'm sorry. You got to make more than 25000 because you're setting your kids up for a bad future. Now, if you don't have kids, live with your 25000 But when you have a kid, I'm sorry. You can't raise a kid off $25,000 um, unless you literally are like – you can in certain places. But those places are going to be dangerous, and the kid life is going to be at risk every day. But let Kelly go real quick, and then we're going to respond after that. Hey everyone. So I only on. came up, I was minding my own business, eating breakfast, and I saw that you were live. I did not say anything about 80,000. One of your users, J Media, I said, hey everyone. And J Media said, oh, I think about 80,000 all the time. That's how this conversation got started. I didn't say anything about white men, black men, or any money. I just said, hey everyone, that's it. One of your other users brought up the 80,000, which I haven't mentioned in months. It's been such a long time. And first of all, this person you're talking to Roy, um, he says if you make twenty five thousand and you're holding it down, um, if you only make twenty five thousand, you're not holding anything down. He's delusional. No one is putting down. I, I, oh, I didn't sweet. put down. No, I didn't put down anybody. But if you only make twenty five thousand, you're not holding down anything. Um, why? Why do black men get upset? If someone talk, when, when the discussion of money comes up, black men get up in arms. Then Jay Media said a comment a few minutes ago that if the bar was lower to 60,000, that black men would not be up in arms. Why do you have to lower the bar for black people to be able to achieve? No, we'll never, we'll never get anywhere if you always have to lower the bar for someone. Like, I just don't like this type of thinking like at all like why should i lower why should someone lower the bar so that instead of black men wanting to do better okay let me speak on what you said about me first of all i said if there's a black man or any man making 25 grand they're holding it down that that's fine dennis chose to add having kids having this having that so there are different circumstances if you're a single guy you make a 25 grand you, there, you can very easily have your own apartment, have your own car, do whatever the fuck you want with twenty five grand. Okay, so that means holding it down. If you if you make twenty five grand, you a single man, you holding your shit down, then you're fine. Then that's fine with me. I don't care. But when Dennis adds other things onto it, that changes the amount and it changes the situation. See what Roy, I'm saying? Roy, my, my bad. There that's is nowhere. For, sorry, Roy. 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 I live in Phoenix, Arizona. There is no okay. way you could live. There is no way a person could live on twenty five thousand in Phoenix, Arizona, or in Denver, Colorado, or any major city. I don't know what okay, you're well, talking about, but you're being oh, delusional. Oh, okay, but you can't you can't base everything on Kelly on the areas that you live or the it high cost of living yes, areas. Roy, Roy, I've been to forty three states. Where can you live on twenty five thousand? Have your own apartment? Have a nice car? Like where 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 is this? Because everybody would move there if there was a such place like like that. Where? Tell me an exact place. Uh, uh. I'm Tell not going to get into the semantics of that shit. No, 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 but no, no, but you just said, you just said that there's somewhere. So let me know where I can go and live on 25000 okay. and live a good okay. life. Oh, okay, I'm up, here. I'm, a, I'm up here on a regular. So if I find a place or if I find more than one place, are you going to apologize that you're wrong? I'm first. No, I'm not going to apologize because you don't. Okay, have there, there, there. What's why, the point? Why are, why What's are the you point? Make, no, why are you making statements when you don't even have a place in mind? I'm asking you on the spot. Name me one place that is. Name me a because decent I, place. Be, name because me I live a, in one. Name, name me a decent live, place. Okay. 
because I live in one place. I don't travel the whole fucking country, so I don't know, but I'm guaranteed we can so find a few places. So you're making statements and you don't know? Tell me one place that I can go and live a good okay, life hold on, for $25,000. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me hit Google up. Go ahead, Jeff. You can talk while I hit Google up. Why do you have to Google it? Where can I go in the United States and live a quality life Googling. for $25,000? Uh, Tell me I'm one Googling place. It. Yeah, because I'm you Googling don't know. It. That's why you're just talking. What? Who the fuck wants to live on twenty five thousand? That's the problem with people who think like this. Who the fuck wants to live on twenty five thousand? Do you know how much gas costs where I live? Like, I cannot. There is no way to even survive on fifty thousand. Where can I go to survive on twenty five thousand in, in America? Everybody would move there if there was such a great place. Hold on a second. That's why That's you're it. on Google trying to find somewhere. And let me guess, it's going to be in the Midwest somewhere where nobody even wants to live. Okay, but that it's doesn't gonna, matter where it's at as long as, does, you, it, as long as you there, can live there. It doesn't not, matter, right? There's not going to be a place not to pay well. Okay, okay settle weather. down. Okay, it's first of all, why are you... Why are you yelling? Why are you why are you yelling and screaming? Why are you yelling and screaming? I ain't yelling and screaming at you. You okay? Well, I don't know who you are, are you I'm sorry. You know, but hey, you, I got a question. Are you are you getting upset yelling and screaming because if I pull up one spot, maybe three spots, four spots, you, you're going to be mad about that because I was able to find those spots that you said that aren't I'm around. Not gonna, no, Is that why you're no, getting upset? No, because I'm talking to an you know you, you want to know why I'm mad because I'm talking to an idiot. That's why I'm mad. Oh, well, you think you're talking to an idiot, but I can guarantee you're not. I think I can that guarantee what? you're not. I said I, you're you can think idiot. you're talking to an idiot you all think, you want. If you act, no, if you actually believe that there is a quality place in America where somebody can move to and live a great life on 25000 in 2024, you are an idiot. If you actually okay. believe that. Okay. Because... Because so like if there I was said, such a great, if there was so such a great like place like that, don't you think that everybody would move there? They would be like, "Whoa, why do I, why do I want to be in L.A. or New York, pay, having to spend all kinds of money? Why would I want to be in San Francisco or Phoenix or Denver, spending two thousand dollars a month on a, an apartment if I could just go move to this place with all these great jobs, maybe, with all this with all this great weather on twenty five thousand? Everybody would move there." That, that's not necessarily true. Maybe some people don't want to live that. Maybe they'd rather have the hustle and bustle of a big city and all that shit. That's, just, that's because you don't want to live in an area like that. Doesn't mean there are other people that don't want to live in an area like that. Roy, tell, find me one good place. It has to have good weather, good a good economy where you can see, live now on you're making, see now you're making see, see that's the problem. Now you want to see this one. Remember what I was talking about being disingenuous with the arguments. Now you want to add stipulation. Okay, the, you've been saying you were, was, no, you've been saying you were going to Google. No, no you were listen, saying you were going to Google for the last five minutes. Listen, find one listen, place. Hey, you, find one place. Like find, one said, place. find one place. Find one place. You can't. Yelling, you can't yelling, find it. Yelling, you can't yelling, find it. You can't find it. That's what I'm saying, bro. This is once again the issue. Disingenuousness. The, the goal was, the goal was, can I find a place that where you could live for twenty five thousand? Now you're like, well, now it's gotta be a good place. Roy, gotta gotta, gotta no, no, have no, no. good weather. Roy, Roy, gotta have Roy, fucking gotta have Roy, guys with six packs. Roy, What's next? What's next? No, let me talk. I let you yell. I let you yell and rant. I let you yell and rant. Wait a minute. Hold on. This is the problem. I let you yell and rant. So why you yell? I let you yell and rant. Let me speak. Okay, I'm not yelling at you. Uh, you said Roy, find a place you, you can live for 25 minutes. See, there place. she goes, bro. So where this is, is the why. place in America that I can go and live on 25000 Where is it? You've had five <laughs> this, minutes this, to be on Google. I don't where have five it? minutes to do dick. I don't have five minutes to do dick to you prove shit You just said you were going to Google okay. the place, so where is it? I'm busy. Where is see, it? See, I'm a, see, I got work to do. I'm working, okay? But I'm saying that... You sat there and said, find a place. I started to Google it, but then you started getting mad, yelling and screaming. So I just said, fuck it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I can do that at any time. I'm a man. I'm no, working. I'm not, I got I'm shit not, to do. I, I don't got, I I got, got shit to do. I don't have to prove because shit to you. I know this, so I know this I got, place doesn't, I I know this place doesn't yeah. exist. Yeah. You okay, well, you, you, okay, yeah, you know everything. You know everything. That's typical woman mindset. Oh, yeah. You know everything. Yeah, I said I know everything. Um, you see how they start with the insults? 
Kelly. No, no, no. You started right. with the. Oh, you started it's the bullshit. Going down. You, st- you start, hey, No, you started the bullshit because you said find me a place that you can live for twenty five no, grand. I said Kelly. cool. Then you changed okay, it. Well, find then you changed it to place. have good weather. Find this, the fucking place. Find the place and shut the fuck up. That's okay. what the fuck you need to what do. What the fuck? So Kelly, I got me cursing. Kelly, why Kelly. are you going crazy today? Hi guys, Kelly. I, I because he's a because fucking they get, idiot. Because, because they get triggered. They get triggered when they know that the chances are they're gonna lose the argument, so they get triggered, bro. That's why they're Kelly. yelling at you. That's all. Hey, hey Kelly. I don't like What's talking up? to people that are stupid as fuck. Okay, it, Kelly. They don't, talk. They don't Hi, come Kelly. up here. It's common sense. Hello. Hi. If, if there was Hi, such Kelly. a great. I'm sorry, right. let, me make, let me make a statement. If you've there been, was a place in America I, that had great jobs, now? a great economy, and you could live on 25000 a year, everybody would move there. Kelly, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, you've said that already. But let me let me give you some, uh, some points here. Why do you keep saying my name? I can hear you. I'm saying hi, so you stop talking. So I have some uh you said hi like 10 times and you've been saying the same thing five times so i'm trying to talk to so you made and a Roy's lot of, were saying a lot the same of thing uh, and pretending that arguments. he can't go to google you made a lot of arguments i'm not roy you made a lot of arguments right i didn't i didn't i i, didn't I want you to arguments. know that for twenty five thousand, you can live anywhere in the u.s as long as you're signed up for section eight and section eight usually buys up some really nice homes and some nice areas and you would never know there okay I, i'm not having the i'm not I'm not. I'm not having this dumbass conversation. It's I'm not, not trying to live on Section, section Eight. Poor, Brandon, you where can you? Where? Where? You just asked the question. I but answered. You can't get Section Eight unless you're poor. You're moving to goalposts. I can't get Section Eight. You gotta be poor. You can't just oh, get Section it Eight. Working. You can. You can I'm live not, comfortably on twenty-five thousand in a no, nice neighborhood on Section Eight. Those. But you can't get Section Eight unless you're poor, though. And you gotta, you gotta make a you're certain. Twenty-five thousand is poor, dude. That's no, not. You gotta live. You gotta make more than that, though. You know, 150 percent of poverty level is twenty five thousand dollars, guys. Yeah, but that's to keep it poor, though. You can't make more than that. If you make more than that, then they take you off Section Eight, and you can't have twenty five thousand dollars qualifies you for welfare. If you qualify for welfare, you qualify for Section Eight. Did I say that? Wait, who wants to live on welfare and live on Section Eight? Where in you America asked. can you? you, you no, no, questions. shut the Where fuck up! You're playing. You're playing. You you're, 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 you're tripping. Stupid. Yeah. No, you're playing dollars. stupid. Section Eight. I'm no, giving you the playing, information. No, you asked the he's question. playing stupid. Yeah, so they are answer, moving the goalposts no, now, right now. No, it's answer, interesting how I bring up the facts, and in Philadelphia too, you can do it. Yes, I want to go live in Philadelphia. We're hey, in America. So you can answer do it the question. In Jacksonville, Florida. No, you can answer do it in the Dallas, question. Texas. You can do You're it in Los Angeles, California. You're not answering no. the question. You can do it in Washington, um, freaking Seattle, Washington. All the, hey, be in Oregon. I'm telling you, all the cities that you can live in that are actually nice cities, if you go look around, yes, there's some I'm nice gonna areas. Go be there's some people be there. Be Yo. I think this is what's happening. Any city you name, Kelly's going to say, who, who wants to live there? Yep. Uh, that is, that that is name cities though that are like not dangerous. I'm talking about you asked the question. Oh, not yes. about, okay. okay. Not Can you guys hear me? All of you liars. You guys hear me? Be super great. Yes. I'm gonna yes. leave Arizona. Hey, and I'm gonna can go. You, can I'm, you, I'm gonna you hear me? myself from Arizona and go move to, to Philadelphia. Hey, can, you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yo. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Here. Let me tell you something. Okay. I, I looked up citydata.com, and it says right here. That twenty five thousand gram, you can live in Birmingham, Alabama, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Winston, Lexington, Baton Rouge, El Paso, Texas, Tucson, Albuquerque. So, how many more would you like me to list off? Those are all dangerous places, though. Who wants to live there? Those are where. But it doesn't matter, bro. That's not that wasn't the question. Whether it's safe or come on, bro. So now you okay? Here you go, Uh, Dennis. Dennis, here you go, simping. That wasn't the that wasn't the question. Whether it's safe or not. That wasn't that has nothing to do with it, whether it was safe or not, whether they have men with six packs, whether they have fucking great weather. The question was, can you yeah, live anywhere in the United yeah, States comfortably at twenty five grand? You, and I just lived first off of all, a shitload first of the name. So there Roy, you go. You're dumb as fuck. You don't even okay. travel. I okay. live in Arizona. There you go. There you go. You, I there you go. In See? You cannot See, because live in I pro- Tucson, Arizona for twenty five because be, because I because I proved travel. you wrong. There you go. There you go. You you didn't you didn't prove anything. You didn't prove anything. Okay. You're a fucking yeah. worthless. Okay. That's yeah. What you uh, yeah. Okay. You're yeah. Okay. Kelly, Kelly, because I'm once again, once again, I proved your yeah, argument yeah, yeah. wrong. Okay. 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 It's okay. okay. It's okay. 
What the yeah, hell? Okay. You're starting to. Uh, you said, you don't you're travel. You said it yourself. You're to be just stuck. This isn't even funny no more. Like Rory can really cook you right now and disrespect you, but he's—I'm shocked that he's actually like like he must be at work and he can't yell right now and go off because he wouldn't allow this to happen why, why no other it? time than now. You're you're like getting a pass right now. I'm shocked. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not, not gonna argue that fact. Thought, see, see, that's the I'm thing, not, bro. I'm I already looked up. I already, I already proved the point. I already proved the point that she's wrong. That it can be done. I listed the name yes, of cities, bro, so, and she still won't yes, accept it. She still yes. won't accept it, bro. I, so, so it doesn't I, matter if I, I came up with. It doesn't eight. matter. It lower, doesn't matter. Kelly, you gotta apologize, Kelly. You gotta apologize to Roy. No offense. But to you, but you I'm, gotta apologize, to Roy, for calling him a dumb or whatever you called him because that was disrespectful, and I'm not doing it on his channel no more. And I told everybody that, so you gotta say sorry for calling him out of his name. We can't be having that. That's just that makes my this ain't a, a free for all channel no more. This is about respect, and just because you don't agree, he gave you cities. Technically, gave you cities, even though we don't want to live there, Kelly, because we think we're above living in around the blacks that be murdered and all that. But I'm sorry, you can live in Memphis for twenty five thousand. He proved it i mean you got to give it to him i mean you're not right on this point but you and me won't live there because we know what it means to live we want to be able to have fun you know go to movies you know travel a little bit you know be able to eat good we don't want to have to eat processed food and welfare and you know like have to worry about your gunshot coming through your window and in, in, in the middle of the night oh god oh shoot christina is in the building it's about to, it might go only down. nab and christina oh shoot you're very disrespectful, Kelly. You should be ashamed of your behavior. Like, what the oh. fuck is wrong with you? No, I, I just gotta say, plain and simply, the question was plain and simple. Where, what city in America can you live at for uh, on a twenty-five thousand dollar annual income? And that was the question, plain and simple. And there's a Immokalee, Florida, Belgrade, Florida, Pahokee, Florida, Florida City, Florida. These are all. Um, very low income cities. And, and like the gentleman up there, uh, B. Vaz had said, there's um, um, government programs that if you're on that kind of income, that you can get on these government programs because you're on the poverty level and you have a $25,000 income and you could live pretty damn good on that. So, yes. My brother lived on $700, I think. Uh, Medicaid, let's see, he got $700 uh, Medicaid. He was getting Social Security and some stuff, and he was living in Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida, one of the richest cities in the um, in the uh, state. And he was on some government um, things before he passed away. So you can definitely do it. It's definitely doable. I mean, so that's all I want to say. Thanks. I think I think I, I messed up and I moved the goalpost because the point of it was household. I was talking about more so. First, it started with men like black men earning on average 84,000 all working and shout out to thunder. Uh, I think he just went away, but shout out to thunder for that point you made. I said, black men earning $84,000. That's the norm. I didn't know that. I thought that it was lower than that, but I'm like, Oh shoot. So then I talked about how majority of black men do earn more than $50,000. Okay. I didn't know that. I found that out. So I got to, you know, shout out to black men doing that. Okay. So then we went into family cause that chart that I pulled up was family. OK, I didn't know black families earned as much as what it was. But what I was saying was 25,000 is as a, as a person with a family consider, you know, household income, like, like kid, whatever such. Um, you can't survive off twenty five thousand dollars. You can in Youngstown, maybe in, in the middle of nowhere, vacant places, but a place that a kid will prosper, which is where you want your kid to be in a place that prosper. Um, you can't survive off twenty five thousand. It's just impossible. Um, without dealing with roaches, mice, bad education system, you know, being shot at for no reason, you know, possibly raped, all the bad stuff. That's all I'm saying. So, hey, just, just for can you, you guys hear me? Tennis. Oh, go ahead. Yes. Oh, so it, my phone got really hot, so it just turned off because it's pretty hot today in Arizona. So that's why I got kicked off before you guys make all these assumptions that I tried to run or something. But to Roy, I'll apologize for calling him an idiot, but I can't be I can't be having these conversations that I for me I know that are stupid that 
I know that you cannot survive anywhere. I, I'm not, the point in life is I'm trying to enjoy my life and live a good life. I'm not just barely trying to scrape by. I'm not trying to live on Section 8 and trying to scam the government so I can live on 25000 a year. So if that's going to be the argument, then I don't, I don't want to participate. Look, okay, Kelly. Well, look, what, 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 real quick, what is life? She's not deleting her comments because we already had that talk. So, do you know what I mean? Like, go, what is life? Look, dude, you disagree with every little thing. It's like, dude, you can't, you gotta wake up and realize what is life. You make $50,000. You know good and damn well what it's like. Your family's probably all black, just like my family's black. And we lived around black people. You're not surviving unless you are literally living in destitute off of 25000 That's $500 a week, okay? $500 a week. You're not doing that. You got your rent is no more. You're not living nowhere with rent under eight eight hundred dollars now in 2024 unless you um you know live in one room with all your kids. You're not doing that, okay? Um, Dennis, got, yeah. Was the question where can you live on twenty five thousand or live comfortably? I think it was where just survive, just survive, like as an adult, oh. survive off the twenty. No, 000. the question was, where in America can you live where there's a good economy, jobs for twenty five thousand? I didn't and say all that, but that can be well, it. Though that's I what that. I said, but that's what I said. And then, first of all, one of the cities he mentioned is Tucson, Arizona. I know you cannot live in Tucson, Arizona for twenty five thousand dollars a year. So and he does not even travel. So why would I take someone serious that does not even travel? anywhere and then the rest of the cities he mentioned are like the most crime-filled cities why would i leave phoenix arizona to go to birmingham alabama those are the most dangerous cities though like memphis who's going to move to memphis i'm sorry every single city that he named is majority black in the city and they're all dangerous and you probably got a chance to get it murdered literally like i'm not living there i'm gonna try to make more and, and by the way somebody said that i i i only make twenty five thousand. i've never i've only had two years two years of my life after 18 that i made under fifty thousand dollars for the year and those two years were college years okay um i've always made over fifty thousand. I and mean, yes after taxes it might be close to 40. so y'all can go on ahead with that um this year i'm gonna make more than 50. i'm making 25 with actual job but I mean, you just saw I made ten plus thousand sports bet in it. Like I'm gonna make money, you know. But y'all go ahead. And let me say one thing. Like I don't. Un First of all, like I said earlier, I did not bring up anything about money or black men or white men. Someone else brought this up. And I just don't understand why is money a touchy subject for black men? Here we go. So, they get so they get like it, it pisses them off. And I I just don't. Why is it so? If you have more, that's fine. Everyone has the free will to do with their life what they want to do. But just because somebody else has a number in mind that they want that they want to make to live comfortably or the kind of person that they would want to marry, why are they getting attacked? Everyone, everyone is living a different life and has different things that they want for their life and you need to stop attacking people who want something different for their life some people they want to live in alabama that's their life they never want to leave but i don't want to be there that's not my life i'm not saying that alabama is bad i'm just using it as an example if somebody else wants to make a hundred thousand a year let them make a hundred thousand don't and don't compare yourself don't comp someone's making a lot of noise don't come like people have to stop comparing themselves and feeling like you're inferior because somebody else wants more in a, a in a different area just be like okay i'm happy with whatever i make or wherever i live i don't want that type of life and those people who want who that those people who want similar things will find each other like i just don't understand why black men get so damn upset about this well, uh, Kelly, I'm not going to say that I'm offended by you saying those things, uh, you know, money wise. But one thing I do think is kind of discriminative is that you kind of like shun people away that don't make that kind of money. So let's say you have a, a friend, close friend of yours, and they're not making that kind of dough that you're making. Would you cut that friend off or would you help that friend? try to get that lifestyle that you got would you try to build them up or would you just be like i can't talk to you? 
Um, well, number one, I know in life that you can't help people because they're not going to listen anyways. Have you ever tried to help someone? Do they, when, okay, and I'm not talking about money, but just in general, it just like, let's say you have a friend that has a problem. They don't really want your help and they don't want your opinion. Like you can tell somebody whether you have the experience in this area or not, listen. Is audio breaking up? So no, I. So, oh well, I'm I'm driving around, so maybe that's why. But I don't believe that people typically want help. Like they don't. I've had friends or associates where they're dating men that are beating them up and doing all this crazy stuff. And then obviously I know that it's not right. So of course you, you're. I'm hearing it for the first time. So it sounds like, oh my God, you know, I want to help my friend. You know, she's in a bad relationship. Then when you try hey, to Kelly. give them advice, then let me ask you something, Kelly. Well, and they start making all these excuses. What's that? Let me ask you: Is my audio okay? Can you guys? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Y'all good? Now, we, now you good? Okay. Go ahead, Nap. I can hear you. All right. Can you guys hear me? Kelly. Yes, Kelly. You can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so. Right, I'm Real quick, hold on, real quick. Nav, go ahead. Let Nav go. And then Brandon, I want to, Brandon, keep it around like two, three minutes, though. Let the people go. But, I mean, Brandon, go ahead and do your thing, Brandon, if you don't mind, with the whole two, yep. three minutes so we can get this organized so that way you don't get a mess. And then, then we got we got to end this at 1245 because we're going to come back on for me and Christina. We're going to do another show. Uh, it's going to be about something completely different. But y'all go ahead. All right. Well, Sorry, this is kind of a side note, just kind of about something what you just said, Kelly. Uh, would you rather date a man that makes 500K a year, treats you bad, or 50K a year and treats you good? You asked me this before, like four months ago, probably. And these type of questions are really kind of pointless because you're trying to make these extremes. Like, if I take the 500,000, I only care about money. Okay, I okay, 100 I then, 100. But you still, you're trying to make an extreme. I don't want someone to treat me bad, but you know people typically are going to treat you bad anyway. So, like, that's just what people do. Like, we're humans. We don't treat people good all the time. Um, you I just gave, you that. said you said your friend was being treated bad by her man, right? <laughs> Kelly? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm in an area with really bad cell phone reception. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Yeah, we now. So what's the question about my friend? Your you said your friend was being treated bad by a man, right? Yeah, I, I had a friend. She was dating a guy that was like beating her and cheating on her. I, I obviously when she told me I was hearing it for the first time and I, obviously I cared about her so I didn't want her to be going through this but when I was talking to her I realized she doesn't actually want help she's just All telling right. me sorry, she's not Kelly. Gonna leave the guy she'll Kelly. leave him when she sorry yeah. to interrupt. I'm gonna pass it to Bevaz, but I just want what's your answer was it the one that made more that treated you bad or the other one I don't have an answer because the question is like, it's pointless. You're trying to make a ridiculous extreme. All right. Be that. All right. So Kelly, you, you were mentioning this with, um, with your buddy, um, that had this issue and I'm going to go off of this. I'm going to give myself two minutes here, but my, my thing was, I asked you that question, right? Was because the discrimination I think is like, it's, it's not too good, right. To know that you will discriminate someone based on their income when there's really good people in the world that may not be making the kind of money you would want for yourself, but we can't put those people down because of that. Even if the topic is offensive to some, because if, if you know the three things that can ruin relationships, 
One of them is the financials. So it's an ego booster for someone making the cash, but it's also an ego like killer for someone not. And when people struggle, they, the last thing they want to hear is someone they know, like, you know, putting them down for their lack of being able to keep up. The keeping up with the Joneses is a big problem in the world as well. So we need to look away from looking at monetary lifestyle and how you live. It's the standard for life instead of just be like, Wealth is not a monetary value, but wealth is having a stable life, stable family, you know, stable job. If you if the job you only could do is fry cook and that's all you got, then, you know, what, be content with what you have. And if you can't get better than that, then, you know, you have to be able to live comfortably. So if twenty five thousand years, all you can do, then you find a place where you could do that and you have a great life. And then there's government assistance programs to help you keep that quality of life. But that's all my take on it. Okay, so I'll give two minutes. Okay, be fast, be fast. So I hope that you notice I didn't put anyone down. I never actually brought this topic up. All I'm saying is that people. Okay, so people get. Okay, so people get upset. You're so putting one group put, down. Can I? Can I, you let me make a statement? Oh, I didn't, sorry. I didn't. I didn't put anyone down at all. Everyone is entitled in America. We're supposed to be the land of opportunity where people are coming from other countries to uh, make a better life for themselves. So I, you have the right. I have the right. Dennis has the right. Christina has the right. Nab has the right. Roy has the right to live the type of lifestyle that they might want to live as far as money goes, uh, as far as what they want to do for work, where they want to live. That's their choices. Just because one person aspires to do something, that does not mean that I have to, like, someone has to lower themselves so that the other person, because the thing is, it's all, it comes across like the person who's making less feels like inferior or something. I'm not saying you're a terrible, I never said that because someone makes this amount of money that you're a terrible person or you're, I'm not saying anything about them. The, the only fact would be that they make less money. If a woman wants to date a guy that makes a certain amount of money, that's her choice. If there's a guy out there that wants to make 300000 a year, that is his choice if he wants to do that. If somebody else wants to live on 25000 a year and get government assistance their entire life, that's their choice. But that doesn't mean that I have to date those people. That is also my choice. So that's why there is a variety of people in America, and we're obviously going to naturally um, find the people that like us, like how we are. And I don't right. think that I, I don't so, I don't think that I have to like. All right. It, so, it, it, I'm I'm talking, I'm I get what you're saying. I get I get what you're saying, Kelly. So and, I don't want you to but, talk in circles and everything. But Roy is here right now. I'd like you guys to address this issue. But you did put him down. You, you're kind of like 180ing right now of what you just said earlier. So go ahead and address this with Roy, and then we'll move on. Okay, you got two minutes. You guys can scroll back. Where did I say anything about about anyone making a certain amount of money and that they're bad people? I didn't say I didn't make any statements about if you make this. You called much, Roy a loser. A just just know that. Just you want you need to address this now, okay? Roy's over here. No, she's cool, bro. She, bro, nothing I ain't heard, and then some. But my whole thing was, she asked me to do a specific thing. I did it, and she still wasn't satisfied with the answer so it doesn't matter this is what i mean by this ingenuous argument it doesn't matter what you come up with proof or no proof they're not they're not going to accept what you say because they don't want to accept the fact that they uh, that uh, they don't need and she she cuts me off that's okay it doesn't matter roy it's okay you said that according to what you found on google tucson arizona was one of the cities mentioned i know for a fact you cannot live in tucson arizona comfortably on twenty five thousand. i live in arizona i know you cannot live there for that so and you said that you don't travel so like i can't you're just going off of what okay. google's telling okay. me well, okay i'm going by city data which is a uh, uh website that collects data from all different cities so uh, you can call city data and then maybe you could be a contributor to them and let them know that their shit's wrong. So but they'll say I'm wrong. I'm going by the data that's on here. Okay, so it's not me being wrong. Maybe it's city city data's being wrong. Another so maybe you email. should contact, contact them. 
But the, no, but the uh, ultimate fact, Kelly, okay, uh, is you yeah, told me I said I was going to do something. I was going to do something. I did it, and you still didn't want to accept the fact that there are places where you can live comfortably for twenty five grand. I didn't say you had to live there. That wasn't even part of the situation. I didn't say you had to, but I said there are places, and you denied it. I pulled them up, and you still didn't say, okay, you, maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. No, you called me a loser, and I'm fucking stupid, and that's okay. But it just goes to show the disingenuous on some arguments that doesn't matter what you do, right yes, or wrong. I it doesn't matter. Now, have you actually been to Tucson? Like, you, but you're Kelly, Kelly, did he not prove anything. the point, though? Did he not prove his point? No, he did not. He did prove no, his point, Kelly. No, he did not. Kelly. No, he did he not. Did. Maybe to you. And maybe you, to you, you not put him to down me. for that. Kelly, you're okay. very disrespectful. Like you, you have no right to be calling people names that you don't even know. Like, what if he started calling you bitch and all this stuff? That would be disrespectful. Like, what's wrong well, with he you? He did. He did. I, I'm not gonna sit here and cry over it. It is what it is. No, he wouldn't say that. that. He's not disrespectful. You were being disrespectful and yelling. What's the point? I already apologized. Yeah, but, I mean, it just makes no sense that you even did that. Because I know that this, that topic of living uh, in a great place for 25000 I know it doesn't exist. So, for it me, does. it's... Kelly, a, we, we proved it. It's possible. No, you just don't want to accept you. it. No, 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 no. You can, you See, can keep you saying that it you. exists. Have an open mind. Be like, hey, you know what? If it does, I'll research it nope. and look, at, look I, for it myself. Nope. No. You can do it like that. If two, I, look, I live in Arizona. I live two hours away from there in droves. I live in Phoenix. Phoenix is way better than Tucson. I'm not going to downgrade my life to go live in Tucson, Arizona. You guys no have not even been downgrading there, your life. Talking. You asked, where can you live <laughs> making twenty five thousand dollars? I it's understand, good but, weather. To, but here's the you, thing: you put all these stipulations, and we gave you the no, city. No, 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 Tucson does have great weather. Tucson has the same weather that Phoenix has. However, you would have to be the same. I'm cutting out, Kelly. That's why I said this conversation for me is stupid. If, if I'm only going to make $25,000, i am going to have stupid. to downgrade my life. That is a fact. That's not, But that's your personal choice. You didn't say for you. You said in general. Now, if you're talking about yourself, then you, now you're contradicting your own, your own argument. So you can't do that. You were just saying in general. And you gave it to Roy to look it up, and he did. And then you put him down because he got he gave you the facts, and you're unwilling to accept those facts. That's not cool because you have to be able to have an open mind and so be like, here's "Oh, the thing. okay, why, I guess why, I'm why, why, mm -hmm. So why do. do black chat? Why? Why are we? Why? So why on? All I know is your internet connection is not eighty thousand a year. <laughs> that was rough. That was rough, dude. But no, yeah, but that's another thing. You know, it, it started off with one thing, and then it's like now I had to have good weather. It had to have this. I had to have that. See, that's the, that's one thing. You know, that those, that, yeah, but that no, I didn't even I didn't even look at that because I don't care if it rains doo doo on you all day long. If you can afford to live there on twenty five grand, that was the ultimate deal. There was no stipulation. You know what I'm saying? So they want to change the goalpost, knowing that oh shit, you might actually pull it up and and slap me with some facts. So they start to change the goalpost. That's disingenuous. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that that and then you know they get up. You know they're starting to get triggered because they might lose because what she do? She starts yelling, screaming, calling me names, and all that shit. Because guess what? No they don't want to be proven. Yeah, they don't want to be proven wrong. Hey, so, Roy. And I don't care. Yeah. Roy, I'm going to just tell you, you're very respectful with Kelly throughout that whole thing. So shout out to you for that. Yeah, yeah bro. I, I, had with the, I, had to, I had to deal with the police this morning. My car got hit yesterday. So I'm not in the mood to really oh, yell and scream too much. Was this before yeah, got, or after you got home? No, this was on my way home from work. I got some dude oh, hit, shit. did the 
did the hit and run thing on me. So I had to go. Well, that's deal why the you post. looked pissed off last night. I saw the stream. You look super pissed off. Yeah. Now I got to drive around the ugly car until I get it fixed. Damn. So, Sorry, man. Hey, it's well, life. But yeah, I just got in the mood. I'm not going to yell at Scream at her. It's, all right. It's so we'll go ahead <laughs> because and take it off to I'll chat yell. now. Chat, we got yeah. about 15 minutes, chat. What do y'all guys want to discuss regarding what's going on in this conversation we're having? This twenty-five thousand versus eighty thousand. Uh, what else would he say? He's talking. Dennis was talking about whatever Dennis was talking about before. Um, whatever you guys want to comment on, we got about fifteen minutes. We will leave it to you guys. Super chats, all that. We'll read them all. So, well, let's start off with that new. He says, "Got to have at Happy Meals." I don't know what that's about, but that sounds funny. Um, spitting facts is the whites are roasting her. That's not whites, guys. I'm not white. I identify as a man who is of a minority who has a hue of 25%. Okay. <clears throat> Robbie said, she said, J Media started it. Well, J Media was just asking a question about that, I think. And then, um, she mentioned it and then it spiraled out of control. Sign language is a uh, cop's eye view. We're play. Yo, we're play. What's up, man? So I feel like Roy's the white version of me. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys similar uh stuff and uh what is life says sorry to hear. Um Armando's replying to J Media and then where what is life is definitely more mellow. Yeah, I mean it is nice. He says sucks hit and runs a maverick, and then word play they put the ghost. Uh I didn't talk any bad, just dropped trigger word. Yeah, I mean but then like it starts saying that the trigger words are like men don't want to talk about it but i don't know why that's a thing it's like wordplay you be cooking times dude going off roy does at times and never seen it and then armando facts that's why i uh that's why why am she i'm not sure what you're talking here but what she's talking about jamie to chill uh sorry to hear roy you're getting a lot of like love over here from TC and what and what is life? I get out of line too sometimes. I mean, everybody has their moments, y'all. <clears throat> that new fix says Kaylee stated she eats happy meals, yet she speaks lowering her lifestyle. I'm confused. I mean, she's not here to ask. So, wordplay. Yeah. Uh, put the LOLs. And then, at the, and then at the end of the day, Brandon, she started to say. Then they changed to I don't want to do. I don't want to degrade my life. So then she started turning into her thing. But nobody was talking about your thing. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's just, it's just, it's, it's that, uh, I ain't going to say liberal. It's just that mindset where people, they, they're prepared to get, they're prepared to get slapped with the the realness. And so then they just start changing everything just so it, it makes them feel comfortable. And that's like, you know, yeah. if, uh, I looked it, if I looked it, yeah. to be yeah. honest, if I looked it up, if I looked it up and there was nowhere, I'd be like, damn girl, you're right. But yeah. come on, we're not all that dumb. Like we know, half this country is in poverty and then some so yeah. and there's a lot of people out there making it work so to sit there and say there's no one and no one can do it that's bullshit, that's I, bullshit. look the minute the minute she said that question i immediately thought section eight because that's the thing and it's always been around it's been around for a long time the hud's been around since like the 40s so it's it's there to help people build themselves up but sometimes corruption gets in there people abuse the system and it's kind of unfair for those who really want to make it make it out of the the situation they're in but anybody anywhere could live comfortably on a very low income if they play their cards right but the problem is these programs are inflated with a whole bunch of cra crap there's a lot of red tape but if you can get in like uh thunder was saying you can have a really comfortable life in a very nice area it's possible yep. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Back at work, so I gotta go yeah, do right. that. So, yes, sir. Right, so, uh, Nab, Christina, hey. hi. What do you guys, your opinions, thoughts? Give me, uh, or mm -hmm. if you guys want to have the chat ask you guys a question, we have 13 minutes. I feel like you have to start from somewhere, so like you might have started from like poor and then worked your way up. I mean, it depends on when you meet that person. So maybe to Kelly, that person's a bum or whatever she thinks about them, but maybe at that time they don't have anything together yet. So we're all at different uh, paces in life. Right. Like 
Brandon might be at the very top, you know, and he might have be very successful and have a lot of money, but maybe like me, I don't have as much as him, but it might be for a reason. It just depends. Like, I don't think anyone should feel bad about that. It just, you just got to do better and hope for the best. I was under the impression that, you know, no matter what people's situations are, I, I would always give you guys benefit of the doubt. The only way you can embarrass yourself is by, you know, talking like H way would say, you know, let people talk and find out who they really are. So it's a, it's a really interesting concept when you let people just go off and go off and then boom, they put themselves in a, in a particular situation and then you call them out on it. And then they're like, Oh wait, well, I didn't really say that. Like, well, yes, you did. Um, Robbie, the magnificent goes, the quick answer to this question, yes, two people can live on 25K a year, but it would be very difficult if you had a mortgage or a loan credit. Yes. But plus, yes. Yes, exactly. And you have another plus you would have to live in low cost area. So, Robbie, that is exactly the point. In certain areas, <clears throat> you can have all those things you labeled and still have a comfortable life at 25,000 a year. But you would have to have in place a certain program. So you can't just do it on your own. And this is known throughout the world. That's why they do push, um, you know, training, education. When you are on these programs, if you ever go, there's like a workforce program if you're on welfare. It's paid for by the welfare to help you get the skills you need to level up your, your game and going to a career field. There's career uh, fairs. There's career um, counselors. They are there to help you. So to say that, you know, it what it really the the argument that she was saying, and unfortunately, Kelly's not here to hear this, but it's like her argument was if you don't make a certain money, you're a loser, and I don't want you near me because you're you're like stink and you're gonna stick to me, and I don't want that funk on me. But I got friends that don't make that kind of cash, and they're great people. So it's all based on perspective experience in how you are as an individual yeah you're right bivaz and i was gonna say like i think kelly was being disingenuous just because she at one point she said i'm not saying anything bad about anyone that makes 80k literally earlier she said i don't want nothing to do with them you know yeah. and maverick's mentioning here i personally wouldn't want to live on 25k lived on 3000 2020 19 and 2021 i hate it Everybody's not going to like that if they're in a certain situation. Yeah. But that's temporary if you can get yourself out of it. Right. But if it, if it becomes permanent, it hurts. And he says that was living out of the U.S., also low cost countries. Yeah. Low cost countries are definitely a plus. There's some plenty. Um, Germany's got some that are good. France, Italy. But you got to live outside of Paris. You got to live in the farmlands in, in France. Because Paris is freaking a nightmare as far as uh, price. It's, it's so expensive to live there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, now going off of what you were saying, like it it does sound like it was a bit disingenuous, but it wasn't. I think it was just like her mindset was so fixed on like certain thing, not too willing to open herself up to the idea of possibly it's. It, it could be a factor that it could happen in her town too. So I, I think I, I was sorry, Christina. Go ahead. Go ahead now. Well, I know what's going on with Kelly. This is just my opinion. Actually, I don't know this, but my opinion is if she ever had a loving relationship, she would just, it would change her mindset. I don't think she's had one yet. Understood. Go ahead, Christina. Christina? Well, what I was, I was going to say is that um, I thought she was talking about in general because that's what we were talking about. But mm -hmm. I think she was more talking about her own experience and what she wants. But that's not what we were saying. Yeah, initially. But I also see what she's saying. She's trying to like say that why wouldn't you want to strive for more? And we all get that. That's common sense. Who wouldn't who would want to stay down and never want to, you know, be successful? Christina, she changed her point like 10 times. She kept changing it. No, I know. I, I know. I'm, I'm 
I'm talking about she should have just said in general, but she was more talking about her own experience. But I also get what she's trying to say. She's trying to say, like, who would not want to strive for more? I get it. But she's going about it the wrong way. Like, she's more like, if you don't make this, then, yeah, you are a loser. Like, you're below yep. me. That's where the disingenuous oh, part comes down. in. Yeah. Yeah. That don't we shouldn't put people down based on their background. And I think that's not fair to the people that are probably watching the stream that may not want to disclose what they're making, but then they're gonna feel like they're they're left out, you know, like wow, this person wouldn't even give me the time of day if I did disclose this. So now you have to play this I'm I have a hidden life game and try to showcase yourself as something you're not. It sounds like a damn bad rom com. You know, where the guy's like portrays he's rich just to get the girl when he gets yeah. the girl. The girl's like, facts. Deal with you. Yeah, facts. Here's, facts. A, here's another problem. She even made a statement like, oh, why do black men get so mad when I say that? It's like implying that, you know, they're mad because they can't make enough. You know what I think? I think if she were to sit in front of a man, whether he's white, Spanish, whatever, and say, I would only be talking to you if you make 80k. I don't think any man would like that. Right. Hey, let me let me say this. Let me give you five this? minutes, Dennis. You let take me, it all the way to the end. Um, I'm not gonna go to the end. I'm gonna just keep it two minutes that way y'all can write y'all can hear our chance to wrap it up. But let me say this. I think what y'all are missing, and um nobody said this whole time is the fact that you know, black women in this country, they deal with the fact that when they when you look on TV. You look at the guys that are earning, you know, good money and whatever such, they feel some kind of way because, you know, it seems like the NBA players, the players that are making money off of like, you know, I want to say fluky because you got to work hard to get to that point. But like, you know, those, those careers, they always choose white women. And then you have professional guys, you know, like doctors, whatever they choose, usually a foreign woman, women, maybe you weren't choosing black women. So black women feel some kind of way because, you know, why can't they want a, a, a man that earns a lot? Because, you know, if a white woman, uh, his, even a Hispanic woman, any woman of any other race, if they're if they're with they, if they deem themselves beautiful and they say they want a man that earns a lot of money because they want to be a housewife or they want to be this or that, even if they are not even attractive, they're not called all these bad, nasty names. They're not called delusional. They're not called whatever. But when it comes to black women, they can't ask or demand a man that earns more money. And it ain't fair because, you know, what makes white women and other women better than um, black women in a way that they can't like she's being demonized for wanting a man to make 80,000. That's not much to ask for. She should be allowed to 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 want a man that, um you know, earns that much because in America right now, Brandon, you know, good and damn well with what you make. And um I know from what I had at one point that you can't survive and have a good life, which when I was in Youngstown, before I moved to Vegas, I thought 25,000, you're balling. I thought you made 2,000 a month. You're you're hood rich, you're good. Until I moved to Vegas and realized there are black men that are earning, waking up making 60, 70,000 off of like a six month training. You know, so I'm just saying, you gotta remember, like I'm trying to educate my peers, uh, black folks that we can do it. I can do it, you can do it. I'm black and slow and I'm gonna make it happen. You can make it happen too, but you have to like educate people because you got all these people in the chat that don't understand that 80,000 in reality, if you want to work hard and educate yourself, you can make it. Anybody can. I'm just lazy, low key. I would be deemed lazy. Only excuse for it, for me not making 80,000 because I could have um, done what Brandon wanted me with the whole project management, uh, of course, to do weeks ago. But I'm backtracking still, you know? So I'm just saying. That's what she's fighting for, that a lot of black men are um, making up excuses and they want black women to settle for mediocrity, settle for shit, live in a, a, the worst of community, um, you know, deal with violence, you know, deal with hoping that they stay. All this bullshit they got to deal with. But when it comes to white women and other women of races, if they got to do the same thing and they complain about it, oh, poor victim, give me a hug. You know, it's all going to be OK. But when it comes to black women, only women that got to take all the worst of society. They can't complain about nothing or they're they're freaking called nasty ass names such as, you know, crybaby victim. You think you're too good. You're ugly. You deserve you don't deserve that because you're ugly. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Like, look at Jeff Bezos ex. 
like she was overweight. No, actually, what was it? Not Jeff Bezos, but um, the one chick that's like freaking overweight, right. unattractive. DJ, a, your chat disagrees with you, and we disagree with you. We're, we're disagreeing with the whole thing. That's she what that was in the herself, As you can see, she's just putting other people down, and like Kelly's here. Play with it. That's not okay. She's here, yo. It's okay to want whatever the fuck you want, but not put people down. Uh, first of all, I never put anybody down. And the problem is, look, you have the right, Christina, or anybody listening, you have the right to live your life however you want, regardless of money, uh, weather, uh, religion, anything. That is your that is your choice. And this is my choice. That's why that that's why it's called choices. Everyone is not meant to be friends. Everyone is not meant to date. We're not. We're not the same. There's people that are different religions. We're 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 focusing on money, but we could start talking about religion and other factors, which would make people incompatible. So the way that you think, that's fine for your life if that's what you want. That's not what I want for my life. So respect what I want for my life and the people that want that want what in the areas that I'm talking about that might want what I want. If you want. However you want to live your life, Christina, in Ohio, that is your choice. So just, I don't, so just get over it. Like, that's how you want to live your life. That's I'm fine. Not that's not, that's not what I want for my life. I did not put, I did not put one person down. I never even brought up white men or black men. Every time you guys get mad and start saying, go get a white man, nobody said anything about white people. But that's how you guys feel about yourself, that black men are actually not good enough. So if you want someone who's better, you need to get someone who's white. No, you talk about black men. What are you talking about? Um, Y'all, all right, anything. hold on. I didn't say anything about black men. What did I say about you talk about? Bevaz, I think, is there a time constraint, Bevaz? Uh, yeah, I'll give you two minutes. Okay, actually, sorry. No, hold on, I can't, I can't give you two minutes. I can give you guys one minute because okay. of the time. So if you don't want to make 80000 or or 100000 or 60000 or whatever the number is, that is your choice. No, that doesn't mean someone wait, has to wait, take... Wait, we might be able to extend this. Christina, hold on, Kelly, hold on one second. Or do you want to exit out and restart? It's up to you. Oh, Christina, you want to start yours and then we, we just move forward from your chat? Or do you have something different planned? No, I think I just wanted to. I'm just wondering why DJ is like kind of backing Kelly up because she's not right. Like nothing right is. It's, not, it's, not, it's Christina. I'm not trying to be right. If you want to make whatever you want to make, that is your choice in life. Right, let me well, say how something. Is that, how is that? No, no. Let me finish. How is that, that disrespecting someone? If wherever you want to live, however much money you want to make, whatever kind of food you want to eat, whether that you like, that is your choice. So go do that and let me do what I want to do with my life. You know what's wrong when you I'm not I, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm not disrespecting. I did not say anything disrespectful. When you put down black men, it's disrespectful. I did not say anything about Kelly. black men right now. I did not uh, let say me say something about, about that. Them. Kelly, you said you said only black men get uncomfortable when you say you want someone that makes 80k you really think any other race of men is going to be like happy to hear that do i think that what sorry if you sat in front of a man that's white spanish asian you told them i'm not going to talk to you unless you're making above 80k you think they're going to be happy to hear that did I did I ever make a statement that i wouldn't talk to someone who made less so you're, you're that's the reality less. that's the reality I can talk to someone who makes any type of money. That doesn't mean that I would. It, well, there, there's, it's there's a waste of no, time, ain't it? Look, there's people that are going to be, there's, there could be a great guy out there that's a different religion than how I was <laughs> raised and I wouldn't date him. Does that make me a terrible person? We could, we could play this little game about every little subject. I'm not saying you're a terrible person, but don't no, act no, no, like. No, but I'm, oh. no, I'm just saying we're stuck on money right now. But what if we move to religion? There could be a guy that's a great guy that might match with me, but he's a different religion than me. If I did not want to date him, what is that? Is Am I, am I going to be somehow bad because I did not give a person a okay, Kelly. A I'm asking you a straight up I'll, question. I'll Is answer you. Question? I'll answer you. Answer it. Okay. The answer to that is that's a little different than earning, right? What do you make for a living? What's your religion? Religion is more fixed, ain't it? And oh, also, let me add one more point. You can freely ask someone what is their religion without anyone getting uncomfortable. Money ain't really something people talk about openly. 
Uh, people will get uncomfortable about religion when they're like Muslim or Jewish. For some, they think that other people don't like them. Like, yes, I've talked to people that are like Middle Eastern or Jewish, and they don't. They feel that pe- some of them have revealed to me they feel like people don't like them because they are of those religions. So I don't. Regardless, I just, in you wouldn't agree. In our society, you can say to someone, "What's your religion?" versus how much money you make. You know, I think the religion is easier to answer. What do y'all think? Bevaz, Christina, Dennis? But I'm just bringing up the religion right. as, as just another thing. There's so many different fa- things I could bring up that, look, there's people writing people off for every little thing. They don't like the kind of car you drive. They don't like your education level. They don't like how tall you are. They don't like how you look. They don't like what kind of family you came from. They don't like, there's so many ways to, you could write somebody off. It's not just money. It's not just religion. We do this all day long. So why are you guys c- trying to come after me and trying to say that I'm not right? Okay, I'm not, let me... I'm not, Look, I'm not nap. I'm not trying to be right. Look, however you want to live your life, you Hold on. however you want to live your life, yep. Nab or Christina or Bevaz or Dennis, you are have the right to live your life that way. You have to understand that everyone that you walk by every day has a different vision or different uh, has a different vision for their life. And ever like, and if you were to talk to these talk to these random people walking by you, you're gonna you you think that the things that I'm saying are horrible. What do you think that there's gonna be people who want even more than what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I, you're I, right. I, I, they're gonna ever, disenfranchise ever, half the country for it, though, Kelly. You're I, talking about I, disenfranchising half the country <laughs> because half the country is in poverty. Oh, but here's the thing. That's not my problem. Like, how is that my fault? I, I don't have to do that. Thing is your fault, but don't put those individuals down. I'm not putting them down. Did I say anything disrespectful? Right. Hold up, Kelly. I let just, me let me re- let me tell you something that you said. Let me. Th- Why did you say only black men get uncomfortable when talking about that? They always get mad in this chat. In this chat, I don't know about the black people in the whole world, but in Dennis's chat, the black people that love the black men that love to flock to his channel, they always get upset when the eighty thousand is brought up, like as if eighty thousand is the end all be all. I never even brought it up. It was Jay Media that got me into this mess. He's the one who brought it up. <laughs> I did not. I was eating breakfast at Sonic, and look what the shit. Look what the look what's happening now. I didn't say nothing. I all I said was hi everyone. Jay Media says, "Oh, I've been thinking about the eighty thousand a lot lately." He brought it up, and then everybody got fucking mad. And mm. you had because he interrupted your happy meal, Sonic. Well, I'm sorry he he did that. Yep, but I was eating, I was eating my happy meal in eighty degree weather, Christina. Yes, you, you are correct. They're all mad and yelling at Roy to make yourself feel better. Wow. Well, look, Christina, I, I mean, look. not Christina. Um, Kelly, I gotta ask you: Are you in a bad mood today? Because I've never seen you like, like <laughs> this. No, I'm not in a bad mood. I wasn't even planning. This is unusual come. for you. you. You're mean, but you're not this mean. <laughs> you were like a nasty He's boy. Right. Kelly, you the way you talk to Roy, that's like you're not like that usually. Well, he got. I guess. Woman. Well, he brought that side out of me. Look, everyone has sides, no. right? Christina's not. Christina's not the same person she's portraying right now. Have you seen her mad yet? We don't know how she's really like. Be Vaz, I don't know, I know how, how she's really like. like she cussed me out. You I've know, seen Christina know. mad. I think. No, but what I'm saying is okay. Well, I'm bipolar. I'm, what? <laughs> You don't know everybody's side. The bottom line for me is how, like, I, then make sure that you guys are listening. However, you want to live your life in every aspect, it is your choice. We live in the United States of America. You are free to live however you want to live. Everyone is not matched to go My together. Candy, Look, everyone is not matched for friends or for dating or whatever. That's why some people go together and some people don't. And that's fine. Like, I know I'm not going to be liked by everybody. That's fine. I only need, look, the people that like me are going to like me. If Christina doesn't like me or whatever, that's fine. That's fine. So I, like, don't, I, don't, I, like, I, don't. We, I feel like we could just drop this conversation. If you, if somebody wants to make 25000 let them make it. If you want to make 80000 let them make it. If you want to make 300000 make it. And then just drop the conversation. If you, in my opinion, want to, uh, if you want to, settle for mediocrity then that if you want to live a simple life and settle for mediocrity that is your choice that's a little flippant isn't it that's kind of condescending there lady no 
Well, I'm not going to apologize. You have people on this channel trying to tell people, you're like trying to encourage people that 25000 is going to give you some kind of good life. No, it's not. You guys are all sitting on here knowing it's not going to give you a good life, but yet you're letting someone else come on here you, telling you, everybody that. Kelly, you asked the question. I agree, Kelly. Kelly, I agree. No, you asked the, cash, the question, Kelly. Roy gave you the answer. I gave you the answer, and then you said no. So it's like you don't want to hear the reply to your Who's own that? argument. Twenty five thousand is not going to give you a good life in the United States. <laughs> give you you give, it could, depending Kelly, on. Kelly, that's live, rude. That's rude, rude, Kelly. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be driving a nice car, owning your home, going on vacations, being able to go to concerts. Kelly, you're didn't you hold up? Didn't you just say everyone should live their own life? Maybe there's so someone that wants a simple life and they're happy. Okay. Like, so, so, okay, okay, so okay, again, then then they can do that, but they wouldn't be look at that. Look, they can do that with their life, and then let me do what I want with my life. Okay, nothing wrong with that. That's okay. okay. Kind of girl, kind of girl, break, kind of girl, break up with me if I said I want a simple life, twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, no vacations, no car, no nothing. She would literally leave me. Well, that's fine. That's for you, G. That's that not, that's not and, every person in the U.S., but we don't have to put people down for it. That's the whole Christine, point. Christine, Christ, let's ask Christina. Christina, if I was your man and all I was going to make, I told you, listen, we're going to go on vacations. We're not going to own a car. We're not going to do nothing because I'm only going to make 25000 but I'm going to give you all my time, my love, my care, my trust. I'm trying to get your speech off, Christina. Are you going to be with me? <laughs> she ain't going for that. She ain't going to respond because she knows she ain't going for that. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Why do we why do we why are we spending time trying to like you're trying to like almost encourage people that like. Kelly, let like, me say no, something. No, 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 no. I was talking first, Nab. Sorry. It's almost like we're trying to encourage people that. 25,000 or whatever number you want to say that that is good. Why Why is it a bad thing to try to encourage people to do better? Like, what is no wrong with not that? To. No one said people, not to. You most, said you cannot most, survive. And most, we said that's not true. Yeah, Kelly, not... Kelly, the last thing you just said, I don't know if you noticed how like condescending it was. You said, if someone wants to make 25K, no problem. Go ahead and make it. But you're not going to have a nice life. You feel not me? Not as nice as the one who's making a hundred thousand. You're not. Can you just say that's subjective or no? I'm not gonna argue. If you want right. to, like, you want to play games, and we could play games. The person who makes twenty five thousand is not living as good she as the one who makes a hundred. If you okay. want to live as good, I will look. Then, I look, 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 guys, guys, so guys. I need. Like, sorry, this. Brandon, gonna have to yeah. wrap it up because yeah, Christina yep. and me, we're about so to come back on live in literally like three are. minutes. But go ahead, Brandon. We all agree to disagree. Like we're gonna wrap it up today. Thank you all for coming. DJ's uh got always got these crazy streams, man. It's just so invigorating and it's like engaging like crazy. I, I'm I'm always fixated at this. Uh, Christina, we're, we're gonna give you your your uh your platform to talk. Nab, thank you for coming. The ones thank who did you. come, Roy, also uh, Thunder. You guys did good. Um, that new fix, there's going to be the smoke podcast later. Uh, I think we can uh, ask Kelly to come back on to wrap up her uh, her section, but we have to cut this off short. Sorry, but we have another uh, stream that we have to handle. Um, you guys take care. I'm going to end the stream, DJ. Is there anything you want to add? Kelly, though, honestly, because I need people to motivate me like Kelly, but we'll talk about so, Kelly. If you want to come on later, that Kelly, that I, got, I, got, I got hold on, no, Kelly, Kelly I, I got to wrap this up because. Uh, me and Christina, we got to come on, on. You can maybe she might want to talk about this again. We'll see. But um, come on later tonight, Kelly. I'll be on at eight o'clock. Um, come on later and we can finish this conversation because I think we need people like you to motivate. So just come back on later if you're free at eight o'clock Pacific time. So that's 11 I, time. I just wanted to point out notice how B Bass didn't thank me for coming on, but he thanked everybody else. He wasn't done yet. I wasn't, yeah. He was saving said, the best for last. I want to thank all the panel for coming. I did say that. I said all the panel. And I said, Kelly, if you want to come on later, I said, sorry, we have to wrap it up. I don't know why you're nitpicking now, but let's let's end the stream. We could talk later. You guys have a good one. Chat, thank you again for being engaging as always. And we will pick this up another time. Thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate y'all. All, All right, right. Take care. Yep, definitely.